So, Monica, Harry T, Marinda, Simon Brackett, afternoon to everyone. Afternoon, guys. Very beautiful day here at, uh, at London City. I was here and set up, so I thought, you know what, why not? Let's go, uh, let's go live. We might as well. And uh, obviously starting just that little bit earlier now, guys. Only reason we are doing that is obviously uh, because it starts getting very dark now about the sort of five o'clock mark. So just for the... Uh, the winter schedule. Beautiful, Martin C. How are you doing, Monica Jackson? Miss Wolves, afternoon to you. Will HPC, hi Chris from Boston. How are you doing? Hope you're okay. Cosmos Logic, how are you doing? Yeah, I've got uh, I've got coffee in me today, so don't worry. We're all uh, we're all good and we're all sorted. Debbie, how are you doing? Early afternoon to everyone along on the dockside. We've already got a uh, Swiss aircraft currently uh, over there that's just uh, already been boarded. So she'll be heading out very, very soon as well. And looks like the 700th Embraer, beautiful stuff. Absolutely amazing. Trevor Vale, how are you doing? Nick W, afternoon to you. And Barry Price, how are you doing? Hope you're doing okay, guys. Right, let me uh, let's get that in there, pull that back a bit. As you can see, a glorious, glorious day. It's a very different type of weather we've had this week com uh, compared to uh, last week. But I see Cosmos Logic, brilliant stuff. Thank you, mate. So the run runway 27 at the second here. Everything's very, very calm. As you can probably see by the uh, by the weather and uh, sorry by the uh, by the water. D Leach, how are you doing? Hope you're okay. Uh, Trevor saying uh, sunny but cold here. It is. Uh, Silver Surfer, how are you doing? CBL, afternoon to you, my friend. So the next uh, sort of four months, guys, we're probably going to be uh, heading a bit earlier on a Friday, just because of uh, the way that the clocks have sort of altered here in the UK. It's quite nice for a, a Friday afternoon chill out, shall we say. again beautiful crystal clear day here in the east of London kind of reminded me of uh, pretty much summertime beautiful So we had a storm the other day, pouring the rain yesterday, and now it's a beautiful, beautiful sunshine. Epic. 
beautiful beautiful stuff and if we have a look over there as well the doors are now closed on the Helvetic so it looks like it's going to be uh, heading out and about Webbo how are you doing Paul Martin uh, where are we Mirinda Washington State here how are you doing Martin C Martin GRM how are you doing Melvin Boone my Chris uh, weather in Brighton is uh, is blue I like it when it's uh, when it's like this guys to be honest uh, Tim Alverson will be sunny 72 degrees in Atlanta today brilliant stuff Steve Parker afternoon Chris and everyone finally Friday it is Queen Bee Terry Stapley there we 13 Denise Grigsby afternoon everyone sorry miss yesterday thought it was uh, poorly not a problem listen don't worry about it you've all got uh, things going on in your life guys the aviation will always uh, be here look after your family first uh, Cosmos Logic uh, Tim Alverson awesome shots of the traffic there CBL 60 degrees medic one how are you doing Andy Frierson how are you doing Alan James afternoon Chris and all from Epping in Essex uh, Evelyn MD saying hey all and Queen B very very chilled out oh the Swiss is now on the uh, on the move as well so a bit of a an earlier departure on that or something you probably haven't seen uh, Helen afternoon all oh, looks like it's going to be a good stream nice weather it's looking gorgeous so anyone that is joining the scan hang on Chris normally uh, goes live at about sort of four five o'clock reason that we're uh, broadcasting just that little bit earlier guys for the next sort of four months currently into the winter sort of schedule of things now so just in order for us to get our show we'll probably be finishing up around the five half past five mark and uh, just until the longer days prevail once again uh, early next year uh, whiskey soon Wayne Helen absolutely brilliant wind sock there as well for anyone wanting that Caroline right afternoon to you how are you doing Sassy Bob looks like a fun day there it's looking gorgeous so far hello to everyone over there on Facebook as well hope you're doing uh, okay been a few problems on uh, on Facebook with connectivity uh, issues on there so I uh, can only apologize hopefully uh, we're gonna be in a, a decent position today shall I say also guys another little update as well for everyone that just joining us now we normally do uh, get you get you one pint in London Webbo oh mate thank you so much Webbo honestly hope you're doing well right guys little little update as well for you um, tomorrow we also we normally do uh, Heathrow tomorrow don't we early in the morning um, I'm gonna have tomorrow off the reason I'm saying that is because it's my birthday on Thursday and I'm gonna be heading out with the family tomorrow to actually do something and catch up with them don't worry I'm gonna be working Wednesday and Thursday Friday Saturday and everything will be normal but I'm going to take a, a cheeky little Saturday off and I'm going to uh, I'm going to enjoy some family time shall we say for uh, an early birthday thing so I hope you don't mind and uh, if you're wondering why obviously uh, we won't be live in the morning that is exactly why it was uh, a very busy October and to be honest with you I think the mods could do with a, a cheeky day off as well so um, I hope you don't mind guys obviously I'm going to uh, I'm going to be a bit selfish and I'm going to uh, enjoy a little bit of my uh, my birthday. <laughs> Andy O'Shea, how are you doing? Uh, what was that minute once we had our first frost of winter? Wow. Tim Alverson, Webbo, thank you very much, mate. And Paul Martin, it looks like a lot, but I'm, I'm trying my, my best to... Uh, <laughs> I'm trying my best to obviously uh, to sort of keep it open in there. And uh, my plan was to never change that. It's uh, open to all. Just I needed to get some of the uh, the network bits and bobs sorted. So outbound with the uh, the Helvetic. Lots and lots of people here this afternoon watching aircraft. I think I can just about see that in the uh, 
the LCD lens, I think, without getting blinded. So the Helvetic looks a little bit lower though than the, some of the Embraers that are normally heading out. But fear not guys, I'm going to uh, be heading back on Monday and Tuesday, hopefully to make up for, uh, for obviously tomorrow's miss. But uh, I'm sure you all understand and I'm sure you don't mind. the right bank of the E2. Beautiful. Actually it's quite busy here this afternoon. Beautiful afternoon in the capital. Stunning, guys. Right. Let's get that uh, turned back around there. Let's get around to a few more of them comments on there. Many one, not yet. No, no not yet. Uh, that's uh, an early one. I don't like. Uh, maybe next week, say, uh, say that, guys. And uh, CBL, thank you so much, mate, honestly. Debbie 13, absolutely brilliant. Stephanie, Helen, meant to be wet tomorrow as well. So if that is the case, guys, if it's pouring down the rain, it's probably done a, a little bit, but I need to spend a little bit of time with my family. I'm sure you can understand. Sassy Barb, thank you, mate. And uh, yours is next Wednesday. Uh, all right, so quite a few uh, quite a few Scorpios, shall we say, in the, uh, in the chat. November born people, shall we say. Brilliant stuff. Uh, Revo, thank you very much. I will try my best, Nick W. Absolutely brilliant. And Richard, thank you so much, guys. Bruce. <laughs> to be honest with you, it was very sort of last minute. Like my brother said that to me. He said the same thing on the uh, on the phone. He said, you need to sort of do... At the end of the day, it's sort of like, I thought about it this afternoon and it's like, I'd much rather get it out of the way and done and then I can sort of concentrate on the uh, on the rest of the month, shall we say. <laughs> Medic, sorry mate. Webbo. No, not yet mate, listen, listen. Can all the, uh, the happy birthday things at the second, guys. We're, we're all good, not yet, not until Thursday. Tony Rivers, car pass, it's MOT, so spare cash for your beer fun. Uh, honest, Tony, thank you so much, mate. I really appreciate that. Medic, and spilling his bad cosmos. Uh, second pint of tonic chaser. Help with the um, equipment upgrades. Big howdy to Tina York today. Brilliant. Ah, oh, Jeanette, honestly, you didn't. Thank you so much, Jeanette. I really appreciate that. You didn't have to. Thank you so much, guys. Overwhelming love here. And uh, Sushi, congrats in advance. Let's wait until uh, Thursday at Gatwick, guys. Let's put it that one. Now, nah, Barry. Do you know what? I said this to the, the mods. I was like, do you mind? It's sort of like if I... Uh, if I take the day, so this is how much uh, SDTV is sort of on my mind. It's like I'm asking the mods, "Can I take a day off for my birthday?" Yeah, I think uh, I think I'm going to be all right. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's brilliant, uh, Barry Price. Thank you so much, Maxine. Afternoon to you. How are you doing, Jeanette? Brilliant and creative M. Thanks for the surprise, Chris. Good morning, everyone. How are you doing? Absolutely brilliant, Neil Wells uh, saying hi, Chris, my man. Howdy, chat and chatters. Hope everyone is well. Yeah, we're doing very well. And Cosmos Logic, Matteo, how are you doing? Absolutely brilliant. And Will saying I'm a Sagittarius coming up. Brilliant stuff. Harry T. Christie, a Swiss boot flying over my house soon, so I'll get it for you. If you could, that'd be great. Daniela, hello from Czech Republic. Uh, Sassy Bob, early birthday. Remember, it's not until Thursday, guys. But uh, I'll be obviously streaming on Thursday, so we'll be back to Gatwick. Um, there, yeah, so it'll be uh, yeah, a nice little thing. D Leach, no, I appreciate that, guys. David, how are you doing? Sassy Bob, Cosmos Logic, wow, so many. Joe and Mason, afternoon to one and all. How are you all doing? Philip Jones, afternoon all late again. Uh, Jeanette, yeah, wait, and to be honest with you, as I said, I think the uh, I think the mods could do with a little bit of a uh, a little bit of a break from a six o'clock in the morning start on a uh, on a Saturday morning. No, Bruce, I would never do that, mate. The, the, the channel needs so many things attending to. Uh, it, 
you can't take a week week away from social media. I'm I'm still about three days behind on um, <laughs> on emails and crew requests and whatnot. <laughs> A uh, real lovely day. Hi, Chris and all. How are you doing? Watford FC, brilliant. Welcome uh, early afternoon, guys. Obviously, we're uh, we're starting a bit earlier now because you know that uh, we lost uh, sort of an hour's worth of uh, sunlight here in the UK just with the uh, the clock sort of going forward. So uh, we're going to be rolling a bit earlier now on a Friday just for the uh, the sort of upcoming winter months, and then obviously over the summer we'll. Uh, head back to our normal evening shows on there so it's all good Rusty Horse how are you doing Yorkshire Rose afternoon Chris how are you doing I'm doing very very well it's quite chilled out here along the uh, the dock side at this time in the afternoon uh, Queen B lunch over catch you all next week not a problem at all but as I said to you guys obviously uh, from what we miss um, tomorrow I will be putting the extra streams on um, next week we've had the four this week and obviously a few people asked why gatwick wasn't on the uh, on the vibe this week the only reason that gatwick wasn't on yesterday guys is because it was absolutely pouring down a rain around the airfield and uh, we wouldn't have seen much looking down that runway to be honest but on the plus side we caught the anton off which was uh, an absolute brilliant brilliant thing uh travel saying it's the uh, the, Qu uh, the king's birthday a bit later on in the month November. It's a bit of a uh, bit of a weird month for celebrating things, you know, because everyone's uh, everyone's counting down the uh, the hours and the days until Christmas. So it's, uh, November is a weird month. Beautiful rotation. Wow. To us, easy brother, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. And <laughs> Scatman new, yeah. There, there's a few, uh, there's a few more bits to run in a live stream channel than uh, <laughs> than just pointing the camera and talking. Uh, brilliant, Tony Rivers. Ah, oh, mate. <laughs> Uh, it's all good. We've got so much stuff to uh, to sort of go back on. Rolio, how are you doing, Matteo? Yeah, <laughs> beautiful day. Not a problem, Debbie. We'll catch you on the next one. All good. And Daniela, thank you so much for greetings. Not a problem at all. Welcome along. Yeah, that's a man. You are see a photo of you in a news report on that uh, Monday's vlog. Yeah, do you know what? We uh, it was nice actually seeing the uh, the local press picking up on. South End Airport. It was so nice for them, actually. I was really, really pleased that South End Airport's getting the uh, the coverage it needs. Really, really happy. Anna Sheldrake, how are you doing? And Russ B counting down the days until spring. Anna Sheldrake, afternoon. Uh, probably be here until I don't know around the five-ish mark, something along them sort of lines. It starts getting uh, a bit darker by then, doesn't it? Yorkshire Rose, Russ B. Yeah, guys, I did, um, anyone that wanted to see the, the Antonoff as well, again, landing, it's posted back on the, uh, on the YouTube channel. I posted it on there. It was just in a, uh, basically a highlight form. Had a lot of requests for that, so it is posted on the, uh, on the channel. But that was a, a very welcome surprise yesterday. The rain done us a little bit of a favour, guys, I think, yesterday. I could not believe we called that and off in uh, at Stansted Airport. I was uh, chuffed, to say the least. Keith Grafton, Jonesy, stressful times with uh, work at the moment. Always happy when the stream comes on. Well, Jonesy, don't stress yourself too much, mate, and I, uh, I hope it all gets sorted. But thank you so much for that. I really, really appreciate it. Lots of love going on, guys. You lot are uh, absolutely amazing. Massive hi to the, uh, the folks over there at London City Airport as well, working hard as usual. And Keith Grafton, it's quite busy this time, it's not even two o'clock in the UK here.
very, very surprised. And a beautiful windsock as well. Anyone that was feeling uh, left out with not seeing the windsock. Beautiful. Very chilled out as well. Golf Lima Charlie Alpha Alpha. Uh, and Shell Drake, how are you doing? Uh, Todd Hibbs, good morning from Nashville, Tennessee, USA. Thanks for the stream today. Not a problem, absolutely. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely brilliant. Welcome along all of our uh, new subscribers, new viewers, guys. Just uh, settling you in with our, uh, our cult sort of show at London City here on a Friday. Looking beautiful in the afternoon. Quite a few aircraft actually on stand. It's quite chilled. Very nice. And Joanne, the windsock, yay! <laughs> Tiff Grafton, brilliant. Bruce, where's the TUI? Unfortunately, they don't fly into here. Right, so... There. Let me see where else we are. And Shell Drake. Uh, Hashim Abram is saying hi from Malaysia. A massive hello to you as well. Worldwide audience, absolutely fantastic. Welcome along, guys. Uh, we are seeing the Antonov again. It was brilliant. Do you know what? It was, uh, as you can probably tell from my voice yesterday, I would have went to the normal spot that I normally do at 04 at Stansted, guys, when they're, uh, when they're on them operations. But I think I had about 12 or 13 minutes. I just, it just wouldn't have happened. So that was the best I could do, literally, with uh, the time that I was physically given. Russ B, thank you, mate. I'm glad you. Uh, I'm glad you. Amazing people understand, guys. You know, I don't normally take uh, any time off, but I think an early birthday session with my family. I think tomorrow's going to be. Uh, it's going to be a good vibe, you know. Also, my name fits with uh, this uh, channel. Is about a bit of attitude there, Kiff Grafton. Any update on the seven? Right, those wanting to know about the seven four seven yesterday. It got delayed and delayed and delayed. I think it left at quarter past four yesterday afternoon. So it was just like, really? It was, uh, yeah, <laughs> it was a, a bit of a, a weird one and it was delayed uh, for a long time. Thing is though, if I hadn't have packed up, obviously yesterday when I did, guys, with, with South End sort of after, oh, sorry, South End, with Stansted's afternoon movements, it was just very, very quiet in uh, in regards to like arrivals departures things like that so it was probably worth actually finishing up when we did leslie white how are you doing hope you're doing okay uh arthur benny it's already on my friend it's uh, it's all on let's get my noob <laughs> Russ B. i'm hoping that uh, he got their self sorted out last night so let's uh we're all good. Robert Brown saying good morning from San Diego. Uh, San Diego, awesome stream. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Hope you're having a brilliant day. Uh, Bantam Radio afternoon. Chris, how are you doing? Uh, what time did the... Uh, I think that the Antonov took off around quarter past six or 20 past six. It would have been completely and utterly dark by then, guys. So, once again. But that was such a, a welcome treat, put it that way. Ah, uh, Simon, so it was quarter past. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, Terry Stepley, I'm going that very, very well. And um, Bruce, yes, we will. We will see a uh, 74 again. But you've got to bear in mind with uh, with Stansted Airport is that they have the Dubai Air Wing that heads in there all the time. I mean, we caught that yesterday, which was uh, which was brilliant. Caught the arrival. Uh, what was it? Caught the arrival Wednesday. Caught the departure on Tuesday. Oh, that was great. Steve Kelly. Hey, Chris, nice and early from LCY. Brilliant stuff. How are you doing? Uh, Bantam Radio, uh, yes, well, do you know what, I've got the sun pretty much in front of me uh, right now, and it's very, very warm, it's actually lovely, Simon Pewey, how are you doing, and John Driscoll, hey Chris, good day to you, how are you doing John, hope you're doing okay, Rachel London, afternoon to you all, and anyone that is sort of joining us now guys, you'll wonder why um, we're starting to stream just this little bit earlier, 
on a Friday. Only reason is because uh, here we lose about an hour and a bit worth of daylight where the uh, the clock's altered. So uh, we don't want to be broadcasting all in the dark. So that's why we're here uh, a bit earlier, probably for the next uh, few months, just so we can at least get our uh, show in. Right, coffee time. And current time check, two minutes past two. So 14. 02 here in the uh, in the UK. Put it all. There's more staff than baggage. There is. They've had a, uh, a quite a nice chilled out uh, flight that they've deboarded there. Brilliant. Uh, Philip Jones. It's uh, what was that? The Singapore landed. That was in the evening, wasn't it? Around five o'clock time. I'm sure it was. Uh, Steve Rothwell, Chris. Weather better than yesterday. It's um, it's such a such a better day very very nice here as you can probably uh, see uh, Skepman Noob time change in the US as well in the week on the weekend brilliant uh, transport not watching live on my phone whilst on the bus to South Bristol uh, South Bristol I'm off bus spotting well I hope you have a uh, a great afternoon bus spotting my friend Jeanette McKenzie uh, Simon saying I'm liking the earlier start times brilliant stuff guys but this will run until I would probably say around the February time when it starts getting uh, a bit a bit lighter shall we say uh, Wayne absolutely brilliant right I think I'm all caught up on all of that where are we out on there Danny Max saying hello how are you doing David Goddard uh, Marcel van de Molengras saying uh, London City uh, is a nice place to take some pictures it is couldn't agree with you more uh sayed mahmoud saying hello from uh seal clots i believe i've got that right in pakistan alison tunks how are you doing uh, richard hey O'Reilly senior wife's birthday 9th of november that's the one and uh afternoon stephen Mueller, how are you doing absolutely brilliant guys welcome welcome along <laughs> Yeah, maybe I should uh, sort of move that off of there in a second. I think they're uh, they're just waiting for the new uh, passengers to start boarding and staff training. <laughs> John Driscoll, uh, Matteo. Yeah, there is mate on there. Stephanie Hutcher. It's uh, brilliant. Right, so looks like they're going to be fueling that up. What else have we got? A few ground ops. Oh, the doors open actually on there. Very chilled, very, very chilled. <laughs> right, let me just uh, ah, that's a bit better. Very impressed actually with the amount of uh, aircraft that are actually here at this time in the afternoon. Monica Jackson, how are you doing? Freezing here. Stephen I was saying afternoon, how are you doing Stephen? Hope you're doing very well. Uh, Travis FL USA San uh, good morning from South Florida. Good morning to you. Hope you're having a uh, a brilliant one. Stephen Owers, absolutely fantastic. Jeanette, my, my postman thinks I've lost the uh, plot. Had a parcel delivered earlier, just to a lady Jeanette, the first time someone's used my new title. If I disappear, it means I'm sectioned. <laughs> I hope not. I really do. Uh, Trevor Fuller, hi Chris and everyone from Trevor in Norwich. How are you doing? Hope you're doing okay, mate. Uh, Matt Carter, I love this Friday afternoon action. Chris, get me free work. Cheers, mate. Well, I'm glad we're... Uh, we're helping the work blues in the afternoon. Uh, Alan saying the stream is buffering. Everything's good, mate. I don't use a PC. I, I don't use a PC to uh, to do this, my friend. Everything's uh, everything's good here. There's no buffering going on with this, my friend. My car sent to the uh, wonderful mods as well. Beautiful.
Oh, hi, mate. How you doing? Philip Jones, I hope they close the roof on Nabra Stadium tomorrow. <laughs> Steve Tupple, hi Chris, amazing. Uh, well, as usual, hi from a very snowy Idaho in the US. How are you doing, my friend? Hope you're doing okay. Let's see if hello to all the, uh, the guys from the US. Currently just on the ground ops at the second. Uh, Alan, hi, everything's, uh, everything's good here, mate. I've got uh, really good upload speed here, actually, on the... Uh, on the stream here at the second. We're, uh, we're looking good at the second. I'll oh, keep an eye. I'm going to put that on the screen. How about Air Florida? Air Florida, I told you about. Wow. See that? Yeah. That's roughly where the car park is where you stand now. No way. Wow. That's incredible. This. I'll tell you what, I'll take a photo. There. Okay, for two seconds is where see if you look at that one yeah and then look at where that convey is sitting yeah i've got to tell you what i'm going to take a photo of that and i'm going to put that on the uh on the facebook group if you don't mind no you, you look at that yeah that's where easy jets building the, ah. now is that's where the viewing area used ah, to be right if okay you, if you can picture Luton. Yep. This is Stansted. That's the old original viewing area at Stansted. Wow. If you can imagine. Two seconds, guys. Okay. Keith's just bought a uh, a photo yes. album, basically of some old old aircraft that like Stansted, and it's uh, pretty incredible. Like pretty incredible, actually. Matt Carter, how are you doing? <laughs> Jeanette. Uh, it is Simon. He's showing me some great photos actually of uh, an Air Florida 737, which is pretty uh, incredible. Name, name the air. I'll, I'll stick that in front oh, that's of the Gatwick, camera. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, you've said it now. Yeah. I was going to say, I'll stick that in front of the camera and say, I name don't the think they'll, I don't, I don't think they'll see it, mate. You know, <laughs> that's incredible. Gatwick. How Gatwick was. The orange brownie. Wow. That's the Bel Air DC-6 that used to go in there. Wow, absolute. That's brilliant, mate. The old Delta. The old wall there. Me and my dad looking at fly past over the garden. Wow, that's a JAL. Wow. They're EFO from the Queen's building. The good old Queen's building. Yeah. Sorry, guys, we're just having a, uh, a little sort of look at some of Keith's old photos here. And it's some fantastic stuff from, like, the old... Uh, the old sort of Gatwick viewing area and Heathrow's Queens building. Daniel Watkins, how are you doing? And I showed you who remembers the old viewing deck at uh, Tell Me Two at Heathrow. Currently, I'm just looking at that at the second, my friend. Literally, just looking at some of the. Uh... Hang on, Keith. Okay, let me see if I can. Let me see if I can put some of the, the cap right. Just while we're waiting, guys, I'm going to see if I can put. Uh... I bought, what, I... I bought a book with me. Yeah. That very few people. Right. Get to see. Okay. So if you look at it, you're very, very privileged. Right, I'm going to see, guys, if I can put this actually on the camera for you. Now, just while we're uh, on the wait, uh, let's see. Let me pull that back out as far as I, I don't know whether you'll get the. Uh, I don't know whether you'll get. You might be able to see some of the uh, the pictures on there. Just while we're waiting. So this is from Keith, and this uh, this is from Stansted, over there, Florida. I think you can see literally days gone by guys of uh, some other bits now I tell you what Keith I'm gonna try and hope you don't mind guys too set I'm gonna let me go back uh, and that was a Queens building there wasn't it Keith that one there this was yeah, the... I see throw. right so this is Heathrow guys this is fantastic when people bring this stuff guys to me this is amazing seeing this and now we're sharing it with that's in the days when you used to get tap 727s instead of 320s and 321s 319s so a little bit of history there for you guys literally on there there was another bit just and over in just while we're waiting for the aircraft i uh, hope you can sort of see some of the bits there in gatwick 
absolutely sort of incredible views. This is basically uh, how spotting used to be, guys, you know? Yeah, Keith, I'm just going to uh, catch the next aircraft on there. Absolutely incredible. Guys, when, if you do have memories like this, please come and say sort of hello and um, show us some of this stuff because I'd love to share it all. I love hearing about the old memories of aviation. Old mixed with new, there is just nothing better than things like that. I feel it's, uh, it's fantastic. Memories of days gone by. And that's what makes, I think, this community so fantastic, guys. When people have got things like that, that they can, uh, they can share. It's nice for the, uh, for the world to see, you know? So a little bit of, a uh, little bit of history for you. On a very chilled out Friday afternoon here in, uh, the east of London. So I'm going to catch the right bank. Okay, thanks for that. I really, really appreciate that, mate. I really do. I think the, uh, Saying. Beautiful. Sitting down and rewriting all of that up yeah. into a bigger book. Wow, I was going to say that's. Uh, I don't know if they could see that. That's. One. Screen, is that? Uh, hang on. Let me let me just get back to a uh, a little bit of thing on here. Uh, can CBL saying you can see them good and Simon Pew look at the L1011. I love that, guys. <laughs> John, you got a bit of both there today, guys. <laughs> Braniff, yeah, the big orange. Steve Roberts saying uh, great memories there, Chris and Alan. Keep Grafton, LHR memories of Air France, Caravels, and many many others. All of that mixed in with uh, the current new aircraft is fantastic Joel Cohn how are you doing Clive W amazing history so worth uh, keeping times never to be seen again outstanding uh, Wayne I've already taken the photos and I'm gonna bang them on Facebook as well uh, Kevin Carter brilliant Kelvin Jones a very good pictures there and a shell Drake it flies over your house in about two minutes incredible and if we're saying got uh, Chris got hundreds of memories from nine about 1988 onwards mainly London Heathrow and Gatwick oh, it's incredible guys if you've got them brilliant and Kevin Carter saying it looks like a better day weather-wise, Chris. It's a whole, whole lot better. Very calm here. The wind is just, just about nice. Uh, Mick Smith saying I used to go up in the Queen Elizabeth building, uh, playing, build, yeah, building, playing spotting. Miss that spotting place very, very much. I think you and a lot of others, my friend. But there you go. Nice little bit of a, uh, nice little bit of history, guys. That's what I love to see. Marinda, how are you doing? Currently saying it's snowing again. <laughs> Leslie, absolutely brilliant. Right, so we bought in the 700th Embraer. That's a one page for me, so in. How long ago was that, mate? On the 28th of May, Sunday, the 28th of May. 1974. Eight. Or 1974, uh, wasn't it? No, 78. 78? It says 74, though. Yeah, it's a 1974 diary. Ah, right, so you used the 78. Never got used, but I used it for my when I was sitting in the garden spot in many, many years uh, ago. And then just a year. Uh, so it was, uh, and another little bit, guys, just while obviously we're uh, waiting on this, let's, let's dwell over a little bit more history. Now, let's see if I can. Uh, most See if of, I can most get. Most of what's on that page. Right now. Ain't now flying. It's all scrapped. Right. So these are sort of Keith's memories from the seventies. Sold to Gillette for razor blades. <laughs> so if you want to pause and uh, have a look, he said this was uh, seventy-eight guys. So if you want to sort of have a look from the seventies, plane spotting back in the seventies. So a little bit of nostalgia for you there, and a little bit of. Uh, so I'm brilliant. I love seeing about this, like towers of aviation. Absolutely fantastic. There you go. Look what you saw at Heathrow. Uh, and brilliant. 
TWA707. Concord. Uh, John Driscoll. Matt Carter Sam, wow, he's so historic. Jeanette McKenzie Sam, wow. I love that, guys, and I'm sure you lot do as well. It's, it's nice seeing things like this. Wow. All can tell you one foot one oh fours. Long, that's brilliant. Fred Vanell saying hi, Chris. And everyone on STTV looking forward to another great afternoon. Brilliant stuff, mate. How are you doing? Todd Hibbs saying Concord is so cool. And Peter Gibbs, afternoon, Chris. Tina, Jeanette, lovely afternoon for it. Philip Jones uh, in 66 went to the uh, Heathrow Queensville on a school trip. Heathrow wrote to the school, asked not to come again. Oh dear. So I'm just called no computer there, guys. So. What's this story? <laughs> Tony River <laughs> saying back when Keith was in what's his 60s. What's historic about this book? Yeah. What's got memories for this book with me? Yeah. See this brown mark? Yeah. That's what you a, done to it? No, I've not done anything. <laughs> that was our dog. Oh, wow. Put his muddy paw print on it. So nearly ruined and I it. I think this was the book that I was sitting in the garden one day. Yeah. For, can they hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was sitting in the garden one day spotting and I felt I, it was a nice sunny day so I had my top off. I don't think they wanted that far, Keith, and like, you know. <laughs> I was sitting there and all of a sudden some liquid of some sort landed on my belly. And I run my hand over it and smelt it, it bloody aviation fuel. No way. I looked up and there wasn't a bloody plane anywhere but some it must have dumped. A load of fuel yeah. all over you. Um, I just happened to be where it landed. <laughs> oh dear. And I knew it was aviation fuel because, because of the it smell. Smelt, <laughs> it smelt of. Uh, and Keith Grafton saying, uh, coming over all nostalgic or all those uh, old aircraft. Mark Salter, yeah. uh, Queen's Building Spotting. Those were the great days of spotting. Louis de Haan saying, which Antonov can we expect today? <laughs> Unfortunately, no Antonov uh, here, my friend. Literally, oh, no. it's. Uh, the Embraer's here this afternoon, guys. Yeah, Steve wife. Ario, how are you doing? Quinny, how are you doing? Lucy, oh my gosh, loving the photos. You might get one fly over. <laughs> well, yeah, maybe fly over, Keith, maybe. Uh, Clive W, pictures from back in the day where you had uh, have them develop at the chemist. Those were the days, literally. <laughs> Philip Jones, I wouldn't like, like to have, uh, I would have liked to have known what it was sort of carrying yesterday. And yeah, see what it's... <laughs> Benny could well have been, mate. Maverick. No, do you know what, guys? As I said, it's sort of if you do have things that are nostalgic, and there are there are things that you feel that people on the stream and around the world would like to see your old aviation memories. As long as it's not sort of too busy, just come over, pop over, and say hello to me. Bring bring down some of your uh, your old sort of scrapbooks and your old aviation memories and I'll see if I can put, actually put it up in front on the on stream for obviously everyone else so it just gives you a, I think a bit of a a vibe of how how many people there are that from all different age gaps that actually watch this channel from all over the world you know you get a bit of you get a bit of everything you I'm get leave these in your charge for a second yeah I'm go gonna, for it I'm gonna walk up there see if I can read off those two these jets yeah go for it mate. go for it but yeah, it's brilliant, guys, and I'm sure that everyone in the uh, everyone in the community obviously likes hearing about a lot of the uh, the old school days of spotting, not just with the new school days as well. <laughs> Alan Sheldrake, <laughs> Jim, wow, well, that's all there, Matteo, uh, and that's it. You can uh, join over there on Facebook, guys. I'll put post up some of them photos that obviously uh, Keith sent. I took a, a few of them. Uh, there's obviously shots here on the cam uh, on my camera. No, Jim, you're right. <laughs> Brilliant. Kevin mean, Carter, it's as old as the hills. <laughs> well, it's nice seeing though, guys. I, I love hearing about things like that. I really, really do. And if you are liking, please do hit the like button for us, guys. It just helps us. Uh, Keep growing this wonderful community. And G, uh, JG Mason, enjoy the stream from Toronto. How are you doing? Uh, Joel Cohn, if you can, if you're on Facebook, if you can just send it to uh, STTV on the Facebook, I can then sort of upload it into the community lounge, and then I can sort of share it, um, obviously with your uh, with your credits in the community lounge. 
Greg Hollis saying he's gone blue to uh, Lucy. Very random, but I remember getting a big backpack full of kids' stuff when I flew with Virgin as a kid. Yeah, British Airways and Virgin used to do that. All of the uh, when you was a kid and you used to fly, it used to be like um, I can't remember what it was with uh, with BA. I can't remember what their their sort of um, flyer thing was. But yeah, they used to look after the uh, the kids and everything like that. You used to get a a big old pack with stuff. They don't really do it much now. Actually, saying that, when I went to Amsterdam, British Airways were sort of um, looks like they were looking after the kids once again. Joe Cohn, not a problem at all. Greg Hollis, Canadian, I'm from Oxford. <laughs> Benny, brilliant. Lucy, to be honest with you, I've got a feeling that they potentially uh, inspired quite a lot of people. It did for me. I remember you used to be able to, uh, I can't remember what it was. I'm sure I've got the old BA stuff. Oh, actually, I'll have a look. I'll have a, a look round. Bruce. <laughs> Thank you, Alan. Really appreciate that, my friend. <coughs> so, a very chilled out afternoon here. So, just about getting that 700th Embraer ready. They're still currently boarding. Link cable, not a problem. Uh, Lucy saying, uh, Everyone, very random memories for me, but Keith's Aviation memories inspired me a little. Do you know what? I, I think it's amazing when you get to see things like that. It's the thing is, it's their memories will just be sat there in a scrapbook. Now they're exposed to the world. You know, it's it's fascinating seeing. <coughs> Susie Q is old as the hills. <laughs> Uh, Mickey Merck just watching that uh, in my taxi before the school run. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Very, very chilled out here this afternoon, watching the ground ops. Philip Jones, where are we streaming from Christmas Day? <laughs> I'll just, I think Christmas Day I'll sort of, uh, I'll just chill out away from uh, from the streaming. I think everyone's got to have at least one day off of aviation <laughs> throughout the year. <laughs> and a 14.35, British Airways going to Dublin, brilliant stuff. And even at this time in the afternoon, guys. <coughs> 25 minutes past two in the afternoon. 523 of you watching, brilliant stuff. Not too bad for a Friday afternoon. So what is that that's got its... I uh, just wonder if that's next to the old control tower. Uh, Cabot Taxi saying, uh, still remember Concord doing a last tour of the UK, flew over Edinburgh Airport and cars were all stopped to the main road outside the main AA, ignoring the double yellow lines. Well, there's not many times that you get a, uh, a last glimpse of something like that, guys. There honestly isn't. Philip Jones saying, what time North Clive W. Stephen Owens, keep up the great work, SDTV. Thank you so much, mate. Honestly, I really, really appreciate that. Thank you, guys. <coughs> Keith's gone for a wander, so he's, uh, he's obviously left his scrapbook here in front of me. <coughs> All right, so another BA. Embraer just making its taxi down and now currently removing the uh, the air stairs from the 700th Embraer in front of us. <clears throat> Kelly, how are you doing, Jim? Uh, Lynn saying, got to go catch uh, Coming out and what's uh, Millsap saying good afternoon, afternoon to you my friend. Hope you're doing very, very well. I'm gonna keep, uh, keep held on this just for the second. Uh, 
and Robert Brunn, I'm in San Diego and I'm listening to uh, NORAD, an F-16 call sign, Devil One, can we fill with tanker and may divert to uh, North Island. Incredible. Love it guys, love hearing all, uh, all of the stories from all around the globe. Webo. Brilliant, Denise, I'm going to uh, alert mode. Little one gets home. A bit hard to watch and type. Listen, enjoy, Denise. You've got, uh, got plenty of time. Remember, that's what I always said, guys. You've all, all of you have got lives outside of aviation. The, the aircraft are always going to be here. No wind sound. Jeanette, brilliant. <laughs> Bill Ellis, cyclist, wonderful video. Thanks, not a problem at all. Very chilled out, very relaxed. And anyone that currently is uh, at work here in the UK. Hope he's getting you through uh, the last few hours. <clears throat> I think a lot of people uh, here in the UK, especially at work, are probably counting down the, uh, the hours until either 4 or 5 o'clock. <laughs> Beautiful stuff. Welcome along to everyone just joining us guys and if you are wondering why we are running earlier now it's just because the, uh, the clocks went back. And uh, obviously it does start to get dark very much a little bit earlier here in the UK. Uh, John Jessica, always for writing your streams. Chris, good on you. Always try, mate. Always try. Uh, Mickey Mouse saying, great uh, catch, Chris, on the Antonov. That was, uh, that was worth it yesterday. <coughs> uh, Joel, yes, I will send over the, uh, send you the email address, my friend. Matt, not a problem. I'll see you on the next one. Might be afternoon to everyone. <laughs> We've got a plane. Yeah, Matt, take care. I'll, uh, I'll catch up with you, I think, over the weekend ish, mate. Harry T, that's brilliant, mate. Does anyone know the the gentleman's name that's over in uh, in Tenerife, guys? That gave the shout out because I'll give him a uh, I'll give him a shout out if anyone knows. Is blinding. So outbound, a beautiful right hand turn, clear blue skies here in London. And also, guys, has anyone, a, a, a quick one, has anyone spoken to Samil or does anyone know if Samil is okay? Because we haven't seen him on stream and uh, 
Just wanted to make sure that uh, he's doing okay and he's all right. If anyone uh, could give us a bit of a an update on him, that would be uh, absolutely great. Ollie M says, uh, when are you back at Stance? It won't now be until uh, Tuesday or Wednesday next week, my friend. Obviously, the standard show is Wednesday, so that'll be the next time that we're back over there at uh, Stance in Airport. Uh, Stephen O was saying uh, Stance was brilliant yesterday. The Antonoff, uh, great stream. It was brilliant, guys. Uh, Matt, Susie Q. So we'll work the Clive W, what's the, uh, <laughs> that's what the SCT family is there for. Anything and everything, including aviation. That's it. Plus a lot of you, uh, a lot of us have a good laugh as well in the uh, in the background. Super uh, Aviator saying hello to you. Uh, hello to you, my friend. Ray Hollis uh, steeping out just how London City likes it. Uh, oh. Our hacker, oh yeah, my brother, it's uh, Friday. How are you doing, Medic 1? Uh, he's called Andrew and his channel is called Knights. Nice Rider. Right, okay. I'll, uh, I'll tell you what, I'm going to screenshot that and I'll, uh, I'll go over and have a look. So thank you to Andrew and I hope I've pronounced that right. Knights Rider. So thank you so much for, uh, thank you so much for the shout out. Absolutely brilliant, guys. Yeah, I yeah, I'd like to uh I haven't seen some meal for a bit, so I hope he's okay. Yeah, Leslie. He hasn't been on any other streams either, I don't think. I'm gonna uh I'm gonna investigate guys where uh where Samil is. I hope he's okay because apparently he had some, he had a bit of bad sort of news the last time we spoke to him. So I just hope everything's uh, okay uh, uh I hope everything's okay with him. What's that, mate? Sorry? I saw Samil yesterday. Where was he? Um, no, he wasn't on our stream, mate. I didn't see him at all. Uh, Lucy, yes, I'll tell you what, I'm going to have a look. Uh, David Burney's name is Andrew Knight. Ah, brilliant. He owns the, what was that? He owns the, owns and runs the Sanasti Car Hire in Tenerife. So, there we go. I'll give him a, I'll give him a proper shout out, guys. Uh, Robert Brunish saying another tanker has been scrambled to uh, refuel the aircraft. What on earth is that? Uh, Terry Sapley saying afternoon to you. <laughs> Susie Q. Now nah, listen, anyone's, anyone's first, trust me, I, I started broadcasting live on an iPhone, put it that way, right, so everyone, everyone starts somewhere guys, you know, the thing is, you've got to be consistent and you've got to be persistent when you're, uh, when you're streaming or when you're building anything like a community that we've got, you've got to be very, very consistent, you've got to be at the same places, I mean if you look at this, I've been on the go pretty much since February every week week in week out <coughs> and it's starting to uh, it's starting to show which is a real real good thing um, Wayne Beard saying your footage of the AN uh, 124 and it dropped my memories of June 1983 I've seen the uh, the NASA 747 with the Enterprise on it come to land in Stansted both very impressive I was very uh, impressed actually guys with uh, yeah, yeah literally <laughs> yeah I hope some meals okay guys and Evelyn MD yeah we always try to ask guys if there's people ever missing from the uh, from the stream that are uh, that are regulars or even if you're uh, you're not regulars we always try and catch up with you and see uh, if you're okay the end of the day some people might just need a break from social media it's always uh, it's always nice to have a break away from social media at times some people might just want to put their uh, head down and turn their phone off. Yeah, we've got a very caring bunch of people here, which is uh, <laughs> which is brilliant. Who the hell is he? He's blending into the buildings. <laughs> <laughs> How the hell can he line up and he ain't down there? And I saw him. Yeah, I know. 
Beautiful. Right, uh, you're so right. Yeah, Bruce, hundred percent. Yeah, you, you've got to, you've got to do it properly. I mean, you look at how long I've been plugging away at this, guys. It's, it's not just. I mean, I've been on YouTube since February, pretty much full on, but the rest of it's been years worth, you know. Suzy Q, uh, Andrew's community, it's mainly tourism in Tenerife, the airport, something new. Only his second day today. Ah, oh, brilliant. Ah, oh, Stephen Owens. Right. Wow. Oh, really? Ah, <laughs> oh, the thing is, I. Uh, I caught the Chinooks, didn't I, at Gatwick, if you remember rightly. I had one over my house at half past six last night, 1,500 feet. Wow. Uh, Bruce saying, if I'm ever missing, I'll ring the police. <laughs> I had one the other couple of weeks ago at 800 feet. Wow. I do come down quite low at times. Susanna, how are you doing? Hope you're okay. I'm going to go and, uh, I'll give his channel a subscribe, guys. I think I'll go and have a, I'll go and have a look at his channel. <coughs> so outbound with the uh, the 700th Embraer. When this is done, I'll tell you something about Stainstead. Can't even see it now. Sorry, guys. I got blinded by the. Uh, I got blinded by the sun there. Can't even see it. Ah. Oh. oh well. <laughs> oh, where is it? It's that way. <laughs> is that it? Oh, I don't even know. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I got blinded by the sunlight there. It's very. Uh, it's very bright, as you can probably see. Literally just in front of me there. Next thing, uh, this house on a. Gal Oxide, how are you doing? Uh, nice shot on that, John. <laughs> you know when you go stand <coughs> you go around Belmoreau? Yep. When you go past the entrance to the airport? Yep. Because you got you, the road dips down a bit, doesn't it? Yes, it does. If you go down a bit, I don't know if you can still see it, because I've not been there, because I've not driving. It's not been there that way. It was flooded yesterday, the whole of... Uh, Yes. The whole of that was all flooded. When you go down there, there was a little bit about six foot in to the farmer's field. Yep. There was a six foot driveway of concrete. Right. The farmer laid it yep. in 1983. Right. So that people could drive over his field, yep. off the road onto his field, and then across his field, which he hadn't ploughed. Okay. He'd done it all in cahoots with Stansky. Yeah. He put that bit of concrete down to help people get off the road onto his field. Right. To get into the back entrance of the car park at the, at the field where they'd made a couple of gaps in the bushes for people to drive through. Ah. So they could park up and watch the shuttle arrive. Wow. That's incredible. That's a good story. That's brilliant. That's incredible. And our hacker, yeah, I should have went to spec safer, should have, just out, a bit. I don't know what he got out of it for the mistakes for letting people park on his lane. Uh, Greg Collis sounds like a good uh, good song title, title, Blinded by the Light, pretty much. <laughs> Benny, there we go. And uh, Russ B saying uh, hello at Canary Wharf End. Yeah, right, there's some helicopters heading over there. Very chilled out this afternoon here, guys, very chilled. Come on, keep coming this way a bit farther than Antwerp and everyone will be happy and surprised. <laughs> I don't think the Belgian F-16 will come this way. Yeah, it would have been nice, mate, because you would have seen it. You would have seen it. Oh, that's far away, look. That's an ADS, but, um, that's an ADSP military, and like, we're wet there and he's there, so yeah. he ain't that far away. <laughs> Uh, it would be nice if you get an F-16 flyover, mate. Uh, Stephen, I was saying a Singapore A380 going into Heathrow. Uh, the skies are very, very clear, mate. I can't see the 380 around me anywhere at the second. I am having a look. 
If I do see it, I will track it, you know that. Angry Hollis. Jim Gale ain't that's a yeah. Right, keeping an eye out for the 380 guys that's heading over the top. Uh, Jeanette, she will be here. We've already uh, we've already missed one. Oh, we've already had one, and we will get another one. Okay. Yeah. I said that, Benny. <laughs> Oh mate, uh, it's nice hearing the uh, it's nice hearing the stories. Beautiful stuff. Oh, it's very it's very quiet, Keith. You know when you was here last week? Yep. You remember that American? Stephen Owens. Remember the American ah. Falcon Eight that went off? Yep. And yeah, when that literally as it took off from here, as it lifted off from the runway, I went and stood in the back garden. Yeah. And then it came across the garden and went over to um, South Hockenden. Nice, mate. All right, yeah, the, <laughs> I see the 380 so far over in the uh, in the distance, guys. And uh, Helen's saying it's interesting, look at them uh, prepping the aeroplane. This is one of the good things that you get about LCY. You get pretty much the best of everything there, the best of both. And Chris, yes, unfortunately, mate, I've seen, uh, I can see it over there. It's very much too far away from the, uh, from the camera, from me at the second, guys. Uh, Flight Image, how are you doing? Uh, have to get back to work. Thank you, Chris, for an excellent stream. See you next time. Flight Image, not a problem. We'll see you uh, again on the next one. I'm looking up and thinking it's a plane. It's a bloody DLR train. Uh, Farid, how are you doing? Hope you're doing okay. Yeah, very quiet. Very much quieter at this time in the uh, in the afternoon here at LCY. Uh, more of a chill out, guys, I would say this afternoon. This is what you call the calm before the storm, I would hope so, Keith. <laughs> Beautiful. <clears throat> uh, Becky Davis, how are you doing? Just park. Right, I'm making sure. I think I'm now all caught up with everything on here, guys. So coffee time looks like hardly any sort of luggage coming off the uh, Embraer either uh, Bonzo saying afternoon Chris great stream as usual how are you doing Bonzo very early for us uh, here on a Friday afternoon guys so much more chilled out. You can obviously see the guys over there working. They're just having a bit more of a chill out. They've got uh, basically the calm before the uh, the storm sort of turns up. Yeah, Matt Carr, even without planes, is still number one. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Matt. Bake Apple Jam afternoon. Chris and uh, everyone on the stream from Newfoundland, Canada. How are you doing? I'm so brilliant stuff, mate. How are you doing? And is that, uh, is that one Oz? Saying happy to be here today. How are you doing? Steve McDade, hi from Italy. Uh, we had rain here today for the first time in four months. Wow. Paul Sunter saying, afternoon all. I'm still at work. Uh, Viv uh, Priestan, have you considered asking Stancy if you could stream? Uh, well, that's another email that's sort of uh, gone off, guys. You know? Uh, it never hurts to ask, does it? Put it that way. Jeanette, doing a fab job today, Chris and Moz. Uh, love it when I can get under my duvet. Do nothing when you're on. Appreciate it. Listen, Jeanette, I'm glad you're, uh, glad you're enjoying it. Like that, that's it. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant stuff. Very chilled out. So you missed it just now. One, the that came Thank in. you, Jeanette. 
Yeah. It was going at the same <coughs> speed as the tanker behind it. It looked like it was towing the tanker or something. No way. And Richard Batman saying that lull before the storm. Literally, I think they, uh, I mean, you see how busy it gets here, guys, from like four or five o'clock onwards. You don't mind, Richard. <laughs> Benny, it's the TV special. No rain, just a, a storm of flying. That's it, mate. Uh, Ian Clarkson saying, afternoon, Chris, uh, still recovering from the Antonu, uh, Antonoff yesterday. Superb catcher. Thank you, mate. That was, uh, it was probably the best thing actually getting rained off at Gatwick guys to actually experience the Antonoff yesterday and for me I mean I would have moved to my normal spot on 04 but I just the time that we had I just physically did not have the uh, the time just didn't have the time to sort of pack everything up and then head round you know it would have been nice but we called a, uh, a beautiful shot of it arriving that was an incredible sound especially the uh, the way that the engines wound down as well it's uh, an incredible impeccable machine first time see it uh, first time seeing it and i still haven't seen it caught on a live stream it doesn't look like i've uh, i had a look briefly yesterday <coughs> Kobe and Nan saying i was on um <clears throat> i was on this very plane in july uh golf lima charlie alpha fox shot coming into uh coming to lcy Medics sound wondering what to have food wise, getting peckish. And, uh, Jamie Campbell, afternoon all, loving the weather today, it's beautiful, isn't it? And uh, Kobe and I saying he was in from Luxembourg. Stephen Owers, it was, uh, yeah, it was an incredible, incredible sight actually seeing it. I had not experienced that. I'd not experienced it. Leslie White, it's uh, Poets Day, Chris. They'll be uh, charging out of offices there soon. It'll be uh, a bun fight, literally. <laughs> And Ian Finley saying the inbound Embraer 600 just passing over me in South Wales. Brilliant. Up there. No worries, mate. And uh, Susanna saying stunning work yesterday. It was, uh, it was brilliant, guys, seeing it. It really was well worth it. We always seem to uh, manage to catch things, which I'm quite happy about. Jean-Pierre saying uh, good afternoon from France. How are you doing, Jean-Pierre? Hope you're doing very, very uh, well. Welcome to a nice chilled out afternoon here or afternoon operations at london city airport very chilled but we're here just uh, about two hours earlier than what we're normally um sort of around for guys only reason being is because it gets dark now earlier here in the uk and obviously just because of the uh the sort of river i suppose you can say in front of us it does get very very dark here Jesus Christ, well, yeah, Jim, that was, it, literally it was, it, that was my uh, exact thing, I mean, what is that noise? It sounds like, it? Uh, Jean-Pierre, you don't... Yeah, I want to ask her, it, it definitely feels like that, considering yesterday's, uh, considering yesterday's uh, absolute mess with the sort of weather, It's uh, pretty nice to see, to be honest. More like, uh, more like summer. Joshua Leclerc saying hello, everyone. How are you doing, Joshua? Hope you're doing okay. Uh, Peter Gibbs. <laughs> right, so Alpha Hotel now on its uh, startup. Uh, Claire Prado saying, hey, how are you doing? Martin Hudson, afternoon, Chris. Uh, not raining for a change, <laughs> yes, mate. Funny enough, I um, I ordered a, uh, what was it? Uh, like a sort of pop-up, um, like a pop-up sort of tent, but very, it's a lot smaller. It's just like a sort of enclosure thing now. That turned up today from, uh, from Amazon. So now I'm going to be completely and utterly sheltered from all of the rain throughout the uh, throughout the winter season. So obviously uh, the rain shouldn't be affecting us anymore. The only thing you might get is a bit of uh, sound from obviously the pattern of the rain on the uh, on the top. Uh, Fareed saying hello, uh, SDTV, great stream again. Thank you, Fareed. Really appreciate it. 
Um, Wayne, happy bonfire night tomorrow as well for everyone. Uh, Jeanette McKenzie, brilliant stuff to you. Greg Hollis, thank you so much for that. Honestly, I really appreciate it, my friend. Welcome along to a very chilled out afternoon here at London City. Uh, Claire saying, Chris, what is your favourite airline? For me, I, as I say, uh, I'm pretty old school and I stay humble to my roots. It's BA for me. I've, I've grown up with, with British Airways, in all fairness, and they're pretty much the, uh, the only ones that are sort of still existing out of the originals that I liked, you know? So for me, BA, 100%. Honestly, thanks, Greg. Jeanette, legend, thank you so much. <laughs> bit too old for me, matey. Uh, <laughs> bit too old for me. <laughs> so, aircraft currently started over there on stand nine. <laughs> Jim, in Clarkson, uh, Clarkson, able to listen to my scanner in my front room in Sheffield. Uh, Ian, all depends, my friend, if it's. Uh, all depends on sort of how good the antenna is i suppose from it if that makes sense you know if it's a massive antenna you can pretty much pick up uh, everything bruce yeah spray tank well actually it was it was considered what was it it was considered uh, it was like a sort of outhouse or a shower sort of thing on amazon yeah that's, that's as far as it go on there <laughs> But it gives, uh, just make sure you wait down or you'll be taken off with the jets. Don't worry, I've got all the uh, all the pegs and all the weights, so we're all good. Uh, yeah, Trevor, it's basically like a, a fishing shelter or something like that, but it's quite, uh, it's quite, it's quite big, but it's, uh, it's decent. It's going to protect us a lot over the, uh, over the coming months, especially through heavy rainfall. So we shouldn't be missing anything on that. Benny, 100% mate. Always get a good aerial for your uh, for your scanner, guys. If you're uh, if you're getting one, get a, get a good uh, get a good aerial. Wow. Wow, that's uh, that's <laughs> incredible, mate. Uh, right. Derek, I'll get round to your comment in just a. S oh dear. You ain't having much luck there, Keith, are you? Derek, Derek Morrison, right, hey Chris, uh, what a great day at school, my six-year-old son Scott dressed up as a captain at his Chinese foreign uh, language school today, he was so happy as being a captain uh, is his early age dream, well absolutely fantastic, so nice to uh, see kids with obviously ambitions, make sure he follows up on them uh, ambitions my friend, but uh, just make sure you're, uh, you're getting saving, because them, uh, them pilot courses are not cheap. But no, absolutely brilliant. I'm glad that he had fun. Absolutely fantastic. That car, plane now moving. Whee! <laughs> Half the time there we've got what plane? ADSB, you don't need an aerial. <laughs> uh, Martin Hudson. Do you know what? Funny you say that. I see the... Um, uh, they was on BBC actually. I think it was Friends of Save Doncaster Airport or something like that. That was actually on the BBC this morning. Um, talking about just basically how the... Uh, how the airport's sort of rolling and apparently it contributed like a hundred million pound a year to the uh, uh to the local sort of economy and things like that shut, so it's it? it's uh it's being <laughs> shut so potentially you never know what's uh, gonna happen there it's not nice to see any airport with a great capacity obviously end up in a bad way you know uh cbl i thought the last flight was tui i thought that was the last flight that they had out of there was the tui aircraft Twisted Welsh, uh, afternoon Chris, had an amazing weekend in London, was on a flight path into Heathrow when staying at Twickenham and also wherever I looked in London I could see planes, it's brilliant. Do you know what, normally in, uh, two seconds guys, let me, uh, normally London, especially central London, if you go up to any of the, uh, like the rooftop sort of uh, views that they have over there, you can normally see some great um, aircraft heading into um, into reckon, London Heathrow. They reckon from the top of the ice, yeah. you're supposed to be able to see Luton Airport. Yeah, I, I wouldn't take to that. Seeing as Luton Airport's like 31 or 34 mile away, I wouldn't. 
We'll find that a bit no one's asked us who have no intention of selling it or saving it. Last flight is at 10 o'clock. Do you know what? I, I, I can't sort of comment on Doncaster. I don't know enough about it, guys. I, I, I don't, I physically don't know enough about them things, you know. I might have to give it a, uh, a read up. I'll give it a read and see uh, where it is. Back in the day, and Chris S saying uh, this is a great place to spot from. And welcome along to everyone just joining us, guys. Obviously, uh, we've got to do now is find somewhere to take XH558 and then oh, dismantle her because I can't fly her out. I've been told I won't be allowed to fly her out. No, that's uh, it's not good. <laughs> and Jeanette Tanner, see Blackpool Airport want to reopen domestic flights in the next 10 years. The thing is, there's a market for it, guys, because rail travel now in the UK has become very much, very expensive. So there is market for uh, all of these regional airports and things like that to uh, open up, obviously, all of this stuff here, you know? I thought Ryanair were doing flights on Blackport one time. I don't know, Keith, in all fairness. I, I don't know. I haven't, as I said, I, I haven't really sort of looked up, you know. doing something then, unless I stopped to go. Uh, normal mask. Good afternoon, Chris and everyone. Yes, that was some experience with the AM124 yesterday. Also, my first time, uh, about on the screen occasion, I've in seen the them in a person overflying. So incredible, guys. That was a, a great bit of footage. Terry Sapley saying I did my uh, Vulcan training there at RAF Finley. Um, one ounce and uh, London City only has Embraer's. Yes, they do. They operate Embraer's A220s, E2s, uh, Luxair, which is a Dash 8, and some ATRs as well. Norman. It's a very chilled out one this afternoon. Kev Graft and Don Cast are owned by the Pill Group that are uh, also connected to uh, Liverpool Docks. Uh, I want to ask the Sam, we had uh, five 747s into DSA in two days a month ago. Uh, it can be proper, Pill. Pill just don't want it. As I said, guys, I, I don't know. I, I don't know enough. I, I, I'm not. I'm only just like an aviation enthusiast, you know. I don't want to get involved in other like their businesses and things. But it, once again, it's a shame. It's another airport that's that's gone. Another piece of uh, another piece of land, you know. Sam, just about, my friend. That uh, that hand and off was something special yesterday. So there was definitely someone smiling above us when we caught that. I suppose you've got a chance to ever see the 225, did you? Only in photos. Lost it again, typical. Oh, God, it's getting blinded by the sun. God, that sun. That's my bad on that. Oh, the sun. <laughs> I'm getting loitering over there. Uh, Kenji, how many does it need? All, all depends. I think currently, I mean, what you've seen here and what we've actually sort of covered, it's, I would say, six is the, uh, the International oh, Airport on there, you know? You've got to say a classic shot, literally a classic shot of the sun. <laughs> and off to Frankfurt, that BA, brilliant stuff, as Sam was. Well, uh, was a beast, complete and utter beast. Yeah, my first time actually seeing that uh, literally next to us. I'm glad, glad we went there. Uh, I want to ask her, I've actually uploaded the, uh, I've uploaded the video onto YouTube. So it is actually on the channel. I posted up the, uh, anyone that missed the Antonov arriving yesterday on the stream, the video is actually on the channel. So it's all there. Yeah, Bruce, another, uh, oh dear. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a shame, but unfortunately profit, profit comes before uh, aviation for a lot of people. Uh, Greg Hollis will fly Blackpool for me. 
In Germany, wow. Our hacker. Part of it used to be the uh, the Thames is sort of behind this. This is like uh, more the dock at the second. I want to ask another problem at all. <coughs> uh, in Finley, yes, they have. They got the Dornier here. Caught her many times in the uh, in the past. I believe she turns up here in the mornings, though. Make a move back home. No worries, mate. Rush hour, hopefully. Go for it. Thames, as you know, is the other, just the other side of Tate and Lawn. That's it. So inbound with that. Remember, if you are liking what you're seeing, guys, please do hit the uh, the like button for us. It just helps us uh, grow our channel. Yeah, Ian. Well, that's that's the thing. Like, there's a lot of these airports that are currently turning into uh, massive housing estates, which is just I don't know. It, It is what it is at the moment, you know. Scampton's going to get hose, houses, hotels and a couple of restaurants, I think. That's not good. Maybe a little industrial estate. Beautiful. Turn off there because I'm blocking the runway, man. So, Yankee Tango. Hard to think a week ago, it literally uh, just come back from Amsterdam after an amazing sort of show. It's uh, so, so quickly. Oh, uh, one tasker. And this is, uh, this is another thing, it's sort of like why I try to sort of big up things like uh, South End Airport, guys. When you've got airports that have got infrastructure like that, that have got a massive market, I mean, LCY is pretty much the same as South End, you know. These are my two local airports, and uh, they both need to be completely and utterly thriving, which I think they're well and truly uh, deserved of. I used to, when this first opened in the terminal, they had a board with Europe on it, Yep. And you know an ADSB, you get those lines that are they're far out. Yep. You know, the 100, 150, 200 nautical mile rings. Yes. You got them, and then on each ring, you had a little model or a, a little piece of paper. Yep. Like BAE 146. And then it'd show you the range of 146 of that they have here. Ah. Of where they could go. Incredible, mate. And Inc after, after things they were showing, they never had them in here. Yeah. So they could have had it. Everything. Yeah, they I know. could have had it working a lot better far earlier than they did. And no, they I know. Because they weren't getting the. Uh, I was hardly getting anyone come through other than business people. Yeah. They um, had to open it up to uh, everybody. Right. To start doing city breaks was how they started it. Okay. Because they was they was only way they was going to make the airport pay. Wow. Because I was hardly getting anyone through. Because I was trying because of Canary Wolf. I was trying to keep it like an elite business. Right, okay. Um, yeah, that would make sense. But, uh, but then they had to, because they weren't getting so many people, 
and people started saying that you got the airport, why can't I book a flight to Paris? Yep. And then they started opening the airport up. So and then go from there, yeah. Everyone in the end. Greg Collis saying no time flies, Chris, when you're enjoying yourself, it really does. Excusing the pun there, Euro Aviation, how are you doing? Yeah, maybe Carl. Uh, Bruce, no, 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 London City is very, very busy, you know, but there is always room, bearing in mind, pre-COVID, guys, there is always room for ever-expanding. The way I look at it, more aircraft and more routes obviously drive down the price of air travel, and that is where you want to get to. Still at the moment, we're in that sort of lull at the minute where you can get cheap deals, but you, you can't get cheap deals, and it's it's sort of quite expensive right still to be uh, to be traveling what you need is like an influx like what we had pre-covid to um to basically just sort of drive down the cost rail travel to travel all over the uk is more expensive than flying there is room especially domestic flights within the uk lots and lots uh bruce no unfortunately not uh glickers just uh furnished just before going to bed decided to watch and have another scotch saturday morning here in our chc hope you're doing well my friend and uh, michael g kelly great stream as uh, always thanks from waterford in ireland not a problem hope you're doing very well euro aviation how you doing mate i'm doing very well so very much a, a bit of a a chilled out vibe here going on See this one take off before I go. I'll tell you a quick funny story about me and the team. Carl Crawford saying uh, Luton needs some transatlantic flights. Thing is, guys, as you say, it's, it's just it's one of them ones. If if airports are making their money from European destinations and domestic routes flying in and out of the UK, are they going to try with all of the uh, the extra? How do I put it? The extra red tape to fly transatlantic, you know? And over 400 likes. Thank you so, so much, guys. At this time on a Friday afternoon, incredible. I think before we go, we'll see if, I'm going to set a target. Let's see if we can get to a, see if we can get to a thousand likes. That would be nice. <laughs> uh, they do what they eat, like they've done with the BA. I can't see why they can't have transatlantic flights. Oh, you never know, mate. And sushi, yes, already a week ago, my friend. It's crazy, isn't it? Literally crazy. <clears throat> but we had a uh, we had a very full October. Put it that way. I think it was uh, October was one of the best months, oh, and that's going to take a lot of a uh, lot of building, a uh, lot of beating, shall I say? A lot of beating. Wasn't too, uh, wasn't too blinded by that. Hopefully, as the sun sort of starts to uh, to set, it starts getting in a uh, a bit better. Mm. And out by the Embraer, very peaceful here along the dockside. Sounds like a lot of helicopters from there banging. Beautiful. Hammy Inc. Oh, God. Years ago, he used to deliver to um, ARC's, the uh, aggregate sandy bogs. Yeah, yeah. Um, fair place to stay. Oh, mate. Yeah, you do. Yeah, good. Uh, Ian Clarkson saying, Chris, did the 747 eventually clear Stansted? Yes, it did. Uh, quarter past four, it, uh, it left Stansted yesterday. So, obviously, uh, there was quite a bit of a, quite a bit of a, 
a sort of break. So it was delayed by a full 24 hours there at Stansted. Uh, Hammy Inc, how are you doing? Uh, Stephen, I understand there's a golf stream on the way. It says uh, London, CBL both Gatwick and uh, Stansted need at least one extra runway. Well, as you heard, when we went uh, airside with Gatwick Airport, guys, it's like they have got the extra uh, runway there and that will be put into, uh, put and made into use. Obviously, when, uh, when time comes. Now, how is it? And the dream liner over there. Even very quiet going into uh, LHR as well today. Yeah. That was probably about that deep with sand. Right. So you started at the bottom, floored the accelerator. Yep. And I mean floor it. And then as you got to the top of the ramp, take your foot off the brake and it uh, off the accelerator and hit the brake. Yep. And turn left immediately. Right. All literally, all literally in the same move. And she went over the edge into the teams. <laughs> Not good at all, mate. No. <laughs> yes, uh, CBL saying, uh, what was it? Is planning for another crossing of the Thames. Actually, I did read about that. The uh, the planning potentially that they've got for uh, the new tunnel that's going over uh, over there. So, Silver uh, Town Sam, tunnel. They've started on it. The wing on the Dreamliner. What's that, mate? Sorry. Oh, hello to her, mate. Hope she's okay. Yes, she's Absolutely okay. brilliant. Uh, brilliant, guys. Euro Aviation, uh, indeed, Helen goes much quicker. Right. So the clouds are now starting to move in over there. More in Falcon's getting ready to go out. He is, Greg. He very much is. He's definitely. Uh... Please? Yes, mate. Going out, just change position. Oh, mate. Along. No worries. What is that noise? Uh, Clive W, probably most airports on winter schedule, hence uh, quiet. The thing is, it's always a little bit quieter, guys, in the uh, in the afternoon. Uh, it starts picking up probably around when we sort of go live, around the half past four, five o'clock mark, doesn't it? But as you can probably see now, it is starting to make its way and start getting a little bit darker, even as we uh, know it. So just sort of how it rolls. Uh, what's the point? See you tomorrow. Yeah. Chat. No worries, Thanks, mate. mate. All good. Well, I'll come over for a quick, quick visit because I wanted to bring that. Uh, no, I appreciate you bringing the uh, photo over when it weren't raining. And obviously, I didn't want to bring it out when it's peeing me rain. No, I oh, know. Uh, Leslie White saying the Lux Series next Sweet way out in the Thames morning. Estuary. No worries. Take care, mate. Enjoy. Right. So be safe. Carl Crawford just looked at the price on a train from Sheffield and Newquay. Uh, it's ridiculous. Flights from Manchester is cheaper. cheaper. Yeah. Cheaper to drive and cheaper to pedal. Uh, Lee, he was just sort of uh, talking about some of his experiences at Old Keith there. Talking about some of his uh, times over. <laughs> uh, present and a Lux there as well. Okay, Collis saying uh, take care, Keith and Wayne from the Mono Collectors. Uh, Wayne, that's going to be a good shout. <laughs> oh, on Tasker, yeah, my uh, <laughs> my apologies on the. Uh, as you can see, I was rather excited. <laughs> Sand on the floor, and because you've got their 
<laughs> Quite nice. Like it's wet. So you had to. Yeah, I want tasker. It's always the. Uh, yeah, that was exceptional. Then you'll send the uh, the Luxe in next as well. When you got to the top, right, you can turn at the same time. If you kept your foot down and you didn't bother to turn left. Yeah, it was. Do you know what, Tasker? It was a, uh, it was an incredible surprise seeing it. I did think all of the info that we was having was supposed to be about midday, wasn't it? That we were supposed to be uh, sort of turning up. And as time went on, George got on. Hi, Chris. How are you doing, George? Hope you're doing okay. Uh, Jeanette, yes. <laughs> uh, Clive W, that's why uh, Flybe and other regional airlines used to score with the cheap flights. Do you know what though, it's, uh, to be honest, it needs more of it. If someone had the, uh, if like a, a venture capital or something like that, backed a, uh, a plan for domestic flights, all from uh, London and from obviously the regional airports. People would uh, proper enjoy. Sam Wilson, good morning and happy Friday. How are you doing? So, it's Uh, Ken G, no I haven't my friend, no I've not uh, not seen that. Do you know I'd love a, uh, yeah, a model of the Swiss A220, I think that's uh, definitely the way. Uh, I was to say we had the uh, Qatar 74 into DSA a couple of months ago. There are a few expletives as it come in, love that. <laughs> yeah, David Bone I know. It was a very public place here though guys, you know. Ah, bless him. And looks like the Lux Series company on a approach. Company watching now, Yankee Juliet. Uh, BA from Zurich potentially could be in next. Jackson 666, well, hello Chris and everyone. Long time no, uh, no hat, hope you're all well. I'm doing very, very well, all good. And Clive W, totally agree, makes uh, travel easy. The thing is guys, we've obviously new airline startups at the second, a lot of, a lot of investors don't want to invest in startup airlines just because they don't, the, the yield that they get back, especially in America, is nowhere near as good as, say, um, what the like the railroad industry would actually give. I don't know how it is over here in the UK, uh, but I think there was an airline called Pop, Fly Pop, I'm sure it was. They actually got a, a government grant or a government uh, initiative piece of funding to actually start the airline. It's possible, but there looks like a lot of uh, red tape going on. To, uh, to start that, you know, but there are plenty of airports that would uh, absolutely benefit from, I don't know, flights into Eastern Europe, you know, Amsterdam, all across the UK. Jackson, not a problem. Yeah, David, that's it. Uh, Jan Marco Bruno saying, uh, hello, Chris, good afternoon. How are you doing? Hope you're doing okay. Uh, Robert White saying, my flight to Iceland at the end of the month was £100 cheaper return cost flying from uh, LLA. Uh, what was that? Uh, then he throw. Well, apparently there is a hack. Apparently, if you check like Skyscanner and you actually go through, I think it's um, you post like you want to fly sort of abroad in first class from somewhere. Uh, 
up the country shaves about two thousand pound off the uh, yeah it cuts about two uh, two thousand pound off the uh, the cost I believe so David Bone yeah David Bone I know Paul Sunder it's all right if you've got the uh, the capital to uh, to actually obviously invest in them assets you know uh, Andrew Marston, good afternoon, Chris and everyone having a, uh, a chill. Grandchildren just gone home. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Bruce. There's plenty of uh, plenty of room for startup companies, though, guys. Honestly, well, take care, mate. See you later. And Paul, no, anyone that is sort of asking, guys. Obviously, uh, I'm going to let this uh, Embraer land, and then I'll uh, give you a little bit more of a an insight, George Goodard. Beautiful. Right, so what is how are you doing? And Bruce, hundred percent. Yeah, Michael Painter they are. Skyscanner are really good. But tomorrow guys, obviously I did, uh, I told a few people at the start of the stream, anyone who's joining us, obviously tomorrow morning we're normally at uh, Heathrow Airport in the mornings, aren't we, early. Um, it is my birthday on Thursday, uh, coming Thursday, and um, tomorrow I'm going to have tomorrow off because I'm meeting up with all of my family and we're going to go and uh, we're going to have a nice sort of day out and we're going to go and uh, celebrate my birthday before the occasion because obviously I'll be uh, I'll be streaming uh, probably Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday next week uh, gonna stream on my uh, on my birthday still because uh, we can't miss out so um, yeah I'm gonna have tomorrow morning off guys all of the mods could uh, do with a break as well and I uh, I think it's sort of a, a nice thing to do I don't get uh, much time to myself guys put it that way I'm always uh, sort of giving back so I'm going to be a little bit selfish and uh, take tomorrow morning off and then uh, add hopefully a Monday and a Tuesday or maybe And add in some extra streams next week for obviously uh, a celebratory week now uh, it might upset a few people but I hope you don't mind guys I want to spend some time with family um, October was a very very busy very uh, very long month but worth every single uh, bit of time that's put into it I loved it so I'm gonna be just that little bit selfish and I'm gonna uh, spend some time with my family tomorrow and uh, celebrate obviously uh, another year on this uh, on this planet and uh, enjoy it with I think my mum and dad so uh, and a couple of my friends so I hope you don't mind Beautiful right bank. 
Right, and the Luxe inbound as well. Uh, BAF2 Dusseldorf. Uh, Jeanette saying you deserve a break, Chris. Enjoy it. I will try to, guys. Yes, they, no, thank you, guys. Like, honestly, you know me, I'm I'm about consistently and fit work on the channel never uh, never stops. But uh, I think at some times, especially birthday times, I think uh, I think I'm entitled to a, a Saturday away from everything, I reckon, guys, you know. So uh, we'll be back next week, but I'm going to put on some extra shows for you next week. So it's all good. Mike Garner, how are you doing? Uh, Mike saying my birthday tomorrow. I understand you, Chris. Well, Mike, happy birthday for tomorrow, my friend. Trevor Val saying happy 21st. I wish, my friend. And the Embraer inbound as well. Should get a nice shot of this uh, aircraft taxiing all the way down. Beautiful. Yeah, Miss Walls, thank you. As I said, guys, the uh, I think the mods could do with a uh, a day off as well. They've been setting their alarm clock at six o'clock every uh, every Saturday morning for God knows how many months. So uh, yeah. Seems like I'll all get a lay in, especially if you're in the uh, in the UK. <laughs> Beautiful, look at that. Uh, and anyone that is celebrating their birthday this weekend, many happy uh, wishes to you all. I think it's fellow Scorpios, aren't you? So, uh, happy birthday to all the, the people in November. Uh, Keith, he's, he's like, don't have to do that. I'd, it's, it's another day, guys, I think. As you get older, birthdays are just, uh, they're another day, you know. The thing is, it's the family time that uh, is the most precious out of it all, you know. Uh, Jess Phillips saying, uh, I flew here, for, uh, I flew from here a few months ago. Great airport, isn't it, guys? And the Luxair inbound as well. Jamie Campbell saying it's a smart plane, gorgeous aircraft. Mark Garner, massive uh, Chris, have a bevy on me, totally deserve it, pal. Thank you. As I said, guys, I know that some of you do uh, obviously look out for the Saturday morning, but I'm going to have the Saturday uh, morning sort of off, or well, the Saturday off, and just uh, chill out and enjoy. Ooh. Quality, yeah, Jackson. Quality time. That's the way I look at it. Quality time. I don't, uh, I don't get much time off, or I don't take uh, much time off. I just, sorry, guys. I'm gonna. And in with a Luxe. Yeah, Mike. They do. <laughs> That's eight inbound, Rob. Afternoon, uh, Chris and everyone. Hope everyone is doing good. We're doing very well, my friend. Hope you are as well. I uh, just feel it's saying the best takeoff from here. It's the best, isn't it? Really, really is. Uh, Ian Clarkson. Uh, remember, guys, it's no, it's not. My birthday's not tomorrow, mate. It's Thursday, but uh, Thursday's a bit of a dead day. So uh, I prefer to do things before the event then after but thank you very much anyway guys absolutely brilliant <laughs> oh Wayne <laughs> it's probably going to be a weird one tomorrow I'll be uh, I'll be waking up going ain't the same without the aviation fix <laughs> Shape looking splendid. Uh, 
Such a more chilled out time in the afternoon here at LCY, isn't it guys? So much, uh, so much different than obviously the, uh, the sort of evening rush. Uh, Lima X-Ray, Lima Golf Echo, beautiful Dash 8. Uh, Rust piece a bit wobbly there, just a little bit. Looks like there's a queue of uh, aircraft now starting to uh, make their way into LCY. That runway changes uh, inside and I can't see any more Heathrow traffic potentially turning up. Have a few drinks <laughs> you see there. <laughs> Leslie White, uh, have a drink with me, Chris, and thanks for all you do. No, Leslie, thanks for all uh, you do, and like the rest of you guys that, that just keep the channel moving in the right direction. Incredible. Honestly, thank you, Leslie. Do love the Dash 8. Beautiful. Uh, Jane, how are you doing? Peter Gibbs, uh, the Dash 8 always makes me think of a, uh, of a goose. <laughs> That's quite a nice explanation, actually. Yeah, I get that. Concord always, like the air to air shots that you'd see from Concord, always reminded me of a swan for some reason, you know. Greg Hollis, small champagne on there. Oh, Jeanette, you don't have to do that, you know. I don't, I don't, I don't really sort of take a. As I say, I don't really. Birthdays are just another day, you know. As long as I get to spend the actual day around the people that I want to be around, I'm, I'm more than happy with that, you know. It's, uh, it's all good. And as I said, next Thursday when the actual day is, it's like I'll still be streaming. I'll still be out. We'll be doing our Gatwick show, so. We'll just enjoy it. And just feel it saying wave to the pilots. A little bit too far away. Well, you never know. We might get lucky. Yeah, Pete gives in the long necks, yeah, 100%. And two more likes away from uh, 500. Absolutely brilliant, guys. And currently 15.35 here in the afternoon at London City. And for those of you that are joining us, wondering why Chris is... Uh, a lot earlier here on a Friday only reason we are earlier guys is just because around the five o'clock mark starts getting uh, really really dark over here in London so we're just adjusting obviously the times that we go live over the winter until we get back to the uh, until we get back to the summer and I'm sure you can uh, all understand that you've seen how dark it gets here even with uh, a great setup you see how dark it uh, it all gets. And the fact that there's, and the fact that it's only 25 to 4 in the afternoon, and there's over 500 likes and there's currently over 800 of you lovely lot watching on YouTube here alone. Goes to show that uh, LCY, even when it's uh, a bit more chilled out, it's still a great hit. Top in. Whoop, 500, brilliant. Uh, yes, yes they do. The thing is, we are a little bit further away from obviously the, uh, the cockpit. If they was on 09s, which is the runway that I'm actually opposite here now, guys, you probably would get the wave. Actually, we've, we've seen the wave many a times, uh, but they're just a little bit too far. Um, sort of away from there, Sam. Uh, so six shots in the dark as well, though. Yeah, we do. The thing is, when it gets purely pitch black here in the, uh, in the evening, it's... Uh, can be a hard one to to film 
but the uh, the lead up to it being completely and utterly dark here is uh, incredible. And inbound with the Embraer now, slightly to uh, pick up just that little bit. Beautiful. So going on to stand five and we're there with Golf Lima Charlie Yankee Papa. So white P. And another aircraft currently inbound as well. Afternoon rush looks like it's finally starting to come alive here at LCY. Cosmos Logic, thank you so much. Honestly, I appreciate it, guys. And uh, the only reason I ask for the likes, well, actually, someone asked that. The only reason we, we say about the likes is just it helps us keep getting recommended and with that recommendation obviously on YouTube it helps us build a case of me being able to sort of go to airports and ask their PR departments can we do this can we do that you know it's it just helps in in sort of every way you know and I appreciate it you know, getting between 700 and a thousand likes on a stream is just incredible for like we've just passed 25,000 subscribers it's it means such a lot guys it really does uh, Mark Garner only hearsay at the second to be honest the Chatham Dockyard livery which you're seeing now currently painted on the uh, aircraft is actually the uh, the customers favorite and it has been since I'd say 99 when it was introduced or 2000 it might have even been uh, a little bit sort of sooner uh, than that but uh, this is the favourite livery with BA, so for them, obviously going through the, the sort of post-Covid and post-pandemic, bear in mind it, they charge, or it costs about 150 grand, 160,000 pounds to repaint a, an aircraft, so it's them changing their fleet? Probably not. Brian Young, thank you so much. Ems, absolutely brilliant. Very price, brilliant stuff, mate. Uh, 1705 for the A220. Uh, Wayne, thank you so much for that. Uh, Brian Young, happy, happy days. Uh, yeah, no worries, bro. Yeah. All good. Yeah, I'm cool stuff. Back, yeah. I'm just going uh, no worries, man. All yeah. good. I'll happy see you. Happy belated birthday. Yeah, no worries. Happy thank you. So happy birthday in advance. Yeah, in advance. That's it, yeah, mate. That's, that's hey, you're all good. <laughs> Don't worry, bro. Yeah, all good, yeah, all good man. Yeah, cool right, stuff. Right, I'll speak right, to you in a bit. Yes, Take care, bro. Uh, Jackson, uh, it's not cheap. In 1997. Oh yeah. Uh, Kevin Carson, not looking good for uh, Doncaster, Chris. No, it's not. Uh, once again, guys, I, you have to sort of looking into it. I, I don't know the full full in and outs, guys. It might be something. I think over the weekend I'll give it a uh, a view into uh, into Doncaster. But once again, more more airports that potentially have well the potential to to connect countries and even the UK itself sort of uh, ending this is why I was quite happy to work along with sort of South End Airport as you know guys London City and South End Airport for me are the closest places that I can fly into and the transport links are absolutely brilliant and anyone in their right mind is going to choose something that's easy to get to over something where you're going to have to travel three hours to uh, to sort of get to you know this is why I'm more than humble to to sort of put out and, and work with like South End and especially always sort of big up LCY because it's it's on my doorstep you know and you don't get that lucky sometimes with uh, airports yeah I, I know D Angel Writer saying uh, D Angel uh, sorry D Angel Writer 78 hello from Detroit and Michigan 
how are you doing? Hope you're doing very, very well. Pleasure to have you here. And uh, NJ, hi everyone, joining from Massen in Holland. How are you? Susie Q, uh, Chicago saying uh, hi from midnight in Tokyo. How are you doing? Simon Kirby, afternoon to you, my friend. Yeah, Peter Gibbs. I mean, if you, I, I did hear something. It was on the, it was on the news this morning. Um, I think it was the friends of Doncaster Airport or something like that. I'm sure that was the person. Apparently, it's um, to the local economy. Doncaster Sheffield Airport, actually, I think it was 110 million pound a year uh, in obviously revenue to the area. You know. But then potentially if you've got 5,000 houses that are going to be built on that, money unfortunately talks guys in uh, things. This is why people that have been following us or following me especially for a while will always know that I will get try and get my channel and try and get a bit of social media force always behind things and projects that I feel are good and uh, and sort of need it you know and uh, brilliant sounds like they're starting uh, yeah I mean CBL uh, apart from driving I mean Heathrow from me is 70 miles so like from where I am that's 70 miles you know I've got um, London City which is 18 to 19 miles or I've got South End which is pretty on the doorstep I'm always going to choose the, the closest subject yeah lots of jobs enormous too it's a shame when uh, people that have worked somewhere all their life unfortunately are uh, what's away from it and if there's anything as I said especially with like London City and, and South End, if there's anything that I can do, just as a, a person to just hold my hand up and just go, you know what, we shared all of that and we, uh, we tried to make a positive difference, you know. We done what we, uh, you done what you could. Keith Grafton, Doncaster, 800 jobs on top of Christmas guys and just Philip saying there was an A380 going over us right sorry guys I wonder if you can uh, uh, can't even see uh, I was trying to catch a 380 I can't even see through the uh, the viewfinder the uh, it's just too bright hang on where is it ah oh, no hang on Looks like potentially, is that him lowering his gear? Yes it is. Wow, oh, he's at uh, Lowering the landing gear there very, very uh, quickly ahead of time. Beautiful 380. That one, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, David Bone, 5,000 apples. Yeah, David Bone, that's unfortunately the way it is, isn't it, you know? Uh, Nicholas Moyhan saying hello from Belito Bay. How are you doing? Hope you're doing very, very well, guys. Welcome along, everyone just joining us. Hope you're having a, uh, a great... A great Friday, wherever you are. Jamie Campbell, just about got it, guys. Uh, Benny saying nice shot on there and we are currently uh, where I am at the second or basically where we are at the second this is inside the the Mara London's Ules hang on is that just I swear that's just turned up is that already going back out am I mistaken or is that no nah, that's already uh But yeah, we are in the uh, in the ULES, so the ultra low emission zone uh, here. The thing is, though, modes of transport like aircraft and buses and things like that, you know, it's a, it's a lot different than, say, a car. You've got a you've got a lot of people that can fit onto uh, 
onto aircraft. Sheer perspective. <laughs> Love the shot like that. Right. Yeah, do you know I thought he was I thought it just turned up. I mean obviously the guys that's how much uh, if you are paying for a premium service, that is how quick you want to be on that aircraft. Gary Crasson, how are you doing? Uh Benny Kiefer's gone home. He's uh, he's headed back, he wanted to beat the uh, the rush hour. Gary Crasson, he's coming out here to pick me up. <laughs> That was an epic turnaround. Uh, Simon Kirby saying fantastic lights over the capital this afternoon. There is, it's looking, uh, it is looking gorgeous. Ooh. Now what if I can... Uh, looks like things are starting to uh, sort of hot up now onto the approach into Heathrow. It's been very quiet over uh, the east end here. One contact, ten to exit, one 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 to Okay. I wonder if they're currently on a uh, well, in the test of the second guys. There isn't any, uh, isn't anything that said uh, an emergency or anything like that there. Okay. Obviously, uh, full emergency. Well, all the emergency services going on. I hope whatever's happened over there is uh, everyone is okay, guys. And Jay saying a beautiful wing flex on the uh, seven A. So they're currently on uh, stand six, guys. Obviously, something's happened over there. I don't know what sort of happened. It looks like there's hardly anyone in the uh, in the terminal. CBL would have been on the stream. Yeah, I hope everything is uh, okay. Blues and twos now look like uh, turned off. Looks, uh, might just had a, uh, I don't know, they're heading back, so, uh, hope everything is okay over there, guys. Yeah, Benning, potentially got spillage, emergency in the gate. Looks like they're heading back, though, guys. Might have just been a, uh, just a practice run or something along them lines. <laughs> Over on Tasker, wouldn't that be nice? Yeah, they're heading back. Nah, it just could have been a drill, guys. Yeah, Jackson saying, uh, there's my plane. Cool, that thing was gone. Like, literally, it was gone. Simon Brackett. You know, them, uh, the fire trucks are very, very expensive as well. Um, about 150, 200,000 pounds worth of uh, equipment, them fire trucks. Very expensive. Great pieces of kit. I believe I can hear the Luxair as well, potentially getting ready for its uh, turnaround. Uh, Steve is saying, evening everyone, it's chilly out. It is a little bit chilly out, sir. Uh, well, it's starting to get a little bit colder now. As the, uh, as the sun begins to sort of set. 
keep grafting that Embraer is uh, an A to NA. Simon, yes, for each each truck. And uh, if, when I was having the uh, the, the the talk with um, ATC controllers, obviously at South End, um, they brought up quite a valid point. I'll let the uh, Embraer go. The ATC controllers obviously brought up a very, very good point. Obviously, um, in order for an airport to run, the two main services that you actually need are obviously ATC and the fire services. Now, if you don't have any of them, you can have all of the staff that you want, all the aircraft that you want, the passengers, but without them, you wouldn't be able to literally run the airport. So the two what I'm sort of getting or vibes of is that the two most important things obviously at the uh, the airport are the fire services and the ATC and they are pretty much unsung heroes guys much along with like baggage handlers and things like that you know it's not just pilots and I'm so glad that we get the uh, we get the chance to actually document everything around an airport, which is fantastic. And with a 330. Beautiful. And another right turn. Turkish A330, Jackson says shot. Jamie Campbell, gorgeous plane, love the Lions. Uh, Notch 8 Productions, let's not forget the ground crews tr uh, too. 100%. Uh, Matt Cat, probably going to be on until, um, I don't know, wrap, oh, five, five o'clock mark. We're going to wait for the, uh, the Swiss A220, but once again, it all depends on uh, sort of how dark it starts uh, getting here in the capital. Uh, oh, CBL behind the scenes at uh, an airport is amazing. I love it. I think it's one of the, the best things that you can ever sort of see. Uh -oh. I'm just going to put my uh, gloves on, guys, because I'm getting the, the hands getting just that little bit cold. I want to ask the love the A330, angry plane. So I'm hoping that the Luxair is going to be making its way. Uh, Richard Kelber. Anyone know the altitude of these jets over LCY on approach to Heathrow? Probably around a good six, five, six thousand feet. I know that they're at uh, five thousand. Oh, sorry, at three thousand when they're uh, heading out of here. 
next is uh, Sibio on YouTube. There's a cockpit view from the Swiss coming into LCY when it was very, very windy. Now that, I might have to have a look into that. Uh, Andrew Molson. Uh, Declan's Minecraft, how are you doing mate? Hope you're doing okay. Got my gloves on now. Right, so I'm gonna keep my eyes just at the moment peeled on the uh, on the Lux here. Just want this a little bit quiet. Uh, Stephen Owens, you are right, the sun is uh, just sinking below the houses. You can obviously see the, uh, the difference, guys. I mean, uh, of pretty much the sunset and what time the sun is uh, actually setting now. Straight into Bobby, huh? Yeah. What, are you making a movie or are you just filming the aircraft? Ah, uh, filming the aircraft, mate, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. lovely. Yeah, yeah. Mate, just... I just asked that gentleman over there if I could have a look through his fucking binoculars. Yeah. He looked like he was going to serve me up, and that, you know what I mean? But I don't want to be like disrespectful to anyone, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, no, of course. I suppose it's because I've had a few sherbets, you know what I mean? Yeah. And this this is live as well, this is live on... Uh, on YouTube, man. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. Better not get my no, face No, mate, in there, please. Like, no, I know. <laughs> All the best. Cheers. Peace be upon you, mate. Uh, sorry about any of the profanities on there, guys. My sincere apologies. Chelsea, Chelsea. Uh, real arm, one, triple one. And, yeah, my apologies, guys, for uh, anyone on there. Once again, we are on a, a very public platform here. Yeah. Oh, mate. Uh, no, he just wanted to, he was just swearing, so it's. Oh, God. Yeah, he wanted to look for his binoculars or something. Oh, it's just. Yeah, people are just strange, you know. I can only apologise, guys. Welcome to some parts of the east end of London when people have had a few drinks on a Friday afternoon. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yes, he definitely had more than a, uh, a few sherbets. I'll put it that way. Oh, God. Yep. <laughs> Dave Bonus. Wait, Chris, was he swearing at you? No, he's just. Uh, he was just. Uh, he was just, just drunk, drunk, yeah. Yeah, just uh, drunk, yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Uh, Richard Gill was saying, uh, your camera and the lens are doing great getting these planes, uh, considering the altitude and distance. No, it's great, guys. It's, uh, it's a great, we've got, done pretty well with the, uh, the camera here. John Carter, how did you know that? He was a West Ham supporter. He had a West Ham shirt on as well. How did, how did you know that? Wales 85. <laughs> oh, God. Bill. Was he the pilot? No, luckily enough not. <laughs> yeah, I want to ask her, that's it. Messenger Mike, good evening. How are you doing, Messenger Mike? Uh, David, mate, I trust me, I had um, I had all my eyes, literally, and uh, my hands on all the uh, the equipment. Don't worry, he wouldn't have, uh, he would have ended up in the river before that would have ha uh, happened, put it that way. Katrina. <laughs> uh, Michael, you have. Uh, I am. How are you doing, uh, Gregory Toomey? He's uh, he's still at lunch. <laughs> uh, yeah, Jeanette. I, the thing is, I I try to be as respectful to people. Like this is where I am at, guys. Like this is not. I don't own this. You know, this is public right of way so where i'm at along this dockside everyone is free to walk free you can't say anything to people i try to be as respectful as i physically physically can give people the time of day you know that's what i try to do <laughs> <Matt Cat. laughs> M's. oh god right so the ba City flyer engine starting and they're building a the Lux there as well, which is another good thing. David Sock gets that piece, man. Yeah, Benny. No, that's it. So, as I said, anyone with uh, anyone with kids, my sincere apologies. Uh, Peter gets some planes on the way to Heathrow passing LCY about four and a half. 
brilliant stuff. So. Uh, me, myself, good afternoon everyone. Me, myself, how are you doing? Uh, yes, actually, Tina, I think I might do that. That might be the, uh, I'll put that, I'll clip down that and then put that up as uh, the outtakes, SDTV outtakes at Christmas, or the bloopers, shall we say. I've got many of them. <laughs> Edward James, how are you doing? Hope you're okay. Uh, Richard Gell was saying, I spent uh, 40 years working on live TV in uh, sports in the States. I can only imagine what uh, you came across during that, especially the sports. I've seen, uh, I've seen when the well-known Sky, uh, what was it, Sky, when they uh, broadcast at football matches, there are uh, a few expletives, shall we say, that go on, uh, that go on live after people have had a few beers, shall we say. Uh, Wayne, we are quite interesting people, yeah. Well, the Londoners are, I'm more Essex, should I say. <laughs> Bruce saying that was funny. Yeah, Tony. Uh, uh, we've. I think at, at times, guys, there, there's always a time when I think an expletive will unfortunately turn out. It is live, and uh, sometimes you try your best to remain professional and calm at every uh, every bit, but unfortunately. It does happen from time to time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Cosmos it is. <laughs> yeah, Richard, I trust me, that was uh I think that's only about the second or third time that's uh, that's happened on stream, so we've been alright. We've we've done we've done pretty well. Yeah, Lucy. Welcome to uh, welcome to the East End of London, guys. Some uh, some good characters around here. <laughs> Tony Rivers. <laughs> you should see when the stream's finished. <laughs> and next is the NetJets Bombardier, three fifty from Paris, uh, landing at LCY in over Thames Mead, which is probably this. Yeah, David. Jeanette, I was thinking that maybe I should get a... Uh... Yeah, well, actually my dad said that. He said you need a sign, Chris, that says uh, SDTV live live broadcast. To be honest with you, though, I think it'd only, make it, uh, it'd only make it worse. I think if you advertised it, it was live. Lisa Barlow, maybe some security. <laughs> Yeah, Lucy. <laughs> this is, uh... Welcome to London, guys. Beautiful. These jets are stunning. Uh, AJ, at the second, my friend, I, as I said, I don't know. I haven't heard anything back from them. So at the moment, uh, at the moment, no. But I don't know what my uh, the outcomes may be in the future. So I I don't know. Uh, I don't know. That's the only thing that I can uh, only thing that I can say to you, my friend. <laughs> Lucy. Yeah, David Bone. <laughs> but I also want to keep it professional and friendly. Wow, 
what a stunning jet. Charlie Sierra, Charlie Hotel Foxtrot. And a Luxair as well, going to be starting up. So we'll catch this aircraft heading past the Luxair and then we'll. Uh... Yeah, Richard, it seems to be that way. Uh, Lynn Keeble, evening Chris and everyone, how are you doing? Declan's uh, Minecraft, Chris, I'm going on a 767, is that good? It's absolutely brilliant. If you're flying on the 767, make the most of every minute that you get on that aircraft because uh, they're getting less and less and less. And over 600 likes, thank you so, so much, guys. Gary Glasgow, let's clean that biz jet. She's looking gorgeous. Two young girls watching on dispatch gate having a conversation full of expletives. Oh, Matthew, that's not good. <laughs> that's definitely not good. Hi from Devon, great show. How are you doing, Dartmoor? Hope you're doing well. And David Keogh saying hi, Chris, watching from uh, Point Valley on Ireland's east coast. Great pictures. I think you should have uh, a mind of when you're out there flying solo. <laughs> Maybe. No, do you know what? People are along this part where I'm at. It, it, it's normally you've seen guys. It, it's it's very good. Like normally the. Uh, Normally the Met Police are driving up and down here. Um, obviously they've got their marked car and they're, they're armed, like, you know, so they're, they're really good. It, it's quite nice along this sort of, uh, along this side, you know. And remember guys, if you are liking what you're seeing, please do hit that like button. We're just over 600 likes now and there's nearly 900 of you lovely lot watching. And it's only just gone four o'clock in the afternoon here. I'm gonna see if we can get to a thousand. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna see if we can do that. <laughs> Ian Clarkson says, certainly a very steep climb out of LCY. It very much is. <laughs> Benny. Wow, the weather is uh, certainly sort of closing itself in. Is that choked twice in two days then? <laughs> Now that beautiful weather. I'll tell you what, I'm just going to, uh, while we're waiting for that, I'm just going to turn it around. You remember, uh, look at how the uh, the fortunes have changed with the weather, guys. It's been be it's beautiful one side, and then literally, some really weird colours going on over in the skies, over there by uh, Canary Wharf. Uh, CBL, luckily enough, uh, we're quite sort of well known by the police here, which is, which is good. But um, yes, they've stopped once and asked sort of what we was uh, what we was doing, and they just basically asked about. Um, they loved hearing the like the ATC. They said, "What you're doing?" Uh, a couple of them have actually subscribed to the channel, so it's uh, they're really good. It's once again, if you treat them with uh, respect, if you've got nothing to hide, you're doing nothing wrong that they love it and once again like at Stansted along here you're so close to the aviation that you're like a third pair of eyes which is quite good but other than that no they're uh, they're, they're brilliant people much respect for uh, the Met Police that are uh, that are here they're, they're great like the uh, the LCY Met Police are fantastic Chris, that's Henry people are coming over. Oh, that's brilliant. Harry T, thank you, mate. And Chris H, pilot in a Lux uh, just waved at you. I didn't see that, would have been nice. Saying that, one of the captains from uh, from Lux Air subscribes to us as well, so he potentially might be uh, 
he might be out flying that today. Now it looks like they're just getting the, we've been waiting for that, we're still waiting for that to uh, get ready, Shaw 35. Oh, audits. <laughs> yeah, I see, uh, I see that man. I don't know. Yeah, CBL, 100%. It's, uh, it's incredible. Like, you know, if you, if you look after the police and you treat the police well, and not only that, every time, like every week, sometimes they drive past me like twice, you know, and they just, they'll, they'll give me a wave, which is just a nice, it's a nice thing, you know? Maybe it's gonna send uh, that, I don't know. Yes, I believe there are uh, wing tanks in the dash A. No, Mr. Gelber, thank you so much for that, mate. Honestly, I really appreciate it. And uh, Stephen J. Spare saying afternoon, everyone from Dartmoor, how are you doing? And the one that we wanted there, so dash A engine start, beautiful. Doing Andrew Molson. Oh, we can't got another aircraft as well on approach. Time check now 1613 here in the UK. Ah, oh, Jeanette. No, listen, turn off from it. Go and enjoy your holiday. Don't worry about uh, don't worry about subscribers and things like that. When you're on holiday, just enjoy your holiday and chill out. Campbell, great uh, table prop sounds, Dartmoor Pete, lovely looking Lux airplane. So they're going to remove. And there you go, full rotation. Leslie saying we've got a BA coming in from Florence, brilliant stuff. Matthew Johnston, how are you? And Anna Shelcho, hey Chris, it's uh, beautiful over here at City. It's lovely. Oh, what's happening? <laughs> You're right, you? You're, You're, You're all good. 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 Brilliant stuff. <laughs> How's things? Yeah, yeah all right. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. I'll be careful of that though, because I've got a feeling that that's going to be uh, uh, that's coming this way. I looked, at the, I looked at the radar a little while ago. There's no participation, yeah. participation on it. So. That's decent. Absolutely brilliant. And um, Robert Brunstan, have you ever reported anything? To be honest, uh, no. And that's the way that I want to try and keep it. Like you know. It, you don't want to be uh, sort of being on that case where you're sort of reporting things. The thing is, I think a lot of people have got a lot of savvy. They know not to to obviously do anything around an airport, you know. You've got a car saying evening from the Netherlands. Benny, how are you doing? Matthew Johnston. Uh, Steve Rothwell. It will be probably for the next... Actually, no, it's starting to get busier now. There's currently a couple of aircraft inbound. Uh, thank you, Richard. Honestly, I really appreciate that, mate. Thank you. You can probably see now it's getting a, it's getting a lot darker, guys, and it's only quarter past four in the uh, in the afternoon our normal show was supposed to be at five o'clock or our normal show was at five o'clock throughout the summer this is why we start just that bit earlier so yankee uniform Looks like she's going to be rolling out, actually. So, I should make a left turn any second.
Beautiful. Amazing view though, isn't it? Uh, it's pretty, pretty special. Out. Yeah, the steep climbs out. It's beautiful, isn't it? It really is. Oh, great landing on that. BA looking stunning, guys. Uh, what have we missed? Two seconds. And go straight into stand 10. And Alan as well has just uh, come up and said hello to me, guys. So, uh, absolute pleasure to see Alan here as well. Brilliant. Uh, Janet, it'll be uh, lit up like Blackpool uh, Illuminations. It will be very, very soon. <laughs> You've got a car and Matthew just a great land in there. Beautiful. So, going in. Do the departing aircraft spool the engines up first with the brakes on? Yes, they do. Uh, the likes of the the actual likes of the Embraers, they actually do that. So it'll be like Toga. So they'll have uh, pretty much full power on and then release the brakes. And uh, I think the average sort of takeoff time is about 10 to 13 seconds here. It's very, very quick. The Korean triple. It's lovely right bank. Wow, beautiful colours on that. Wow. Do I catch the Embraer or do I keep on tracking the uh, the triple? <laughs> the Embraer in, right, you can probably see now then guys, there is uh, a nice little track of aircraft making its way in. A nice shot on there, beautiful with a Korean. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> so it looks like the Luxair Dash 8. Kind of a, uh, it's currently on the runway at the second, so it looks like it's going to be making its departure out. And this is Alpha Bravo. Sure, I flew Alpha Bravo back from uh, Mykonos back in. Was it the end of May, I believe it was? I can hear something loud going over the top of us. Oh, yeah, I was going to say that's well loud. Beautiful, guys. Uh, Richard. I thought it was a triple. I'm sure it's a triple three up. And just shy of a thousand of you liking, guys, as I said, if, you, uh, if you're liking what you're seeing, please do hit the like button for us. We're going to try and close in on a thousand likes today. I think we're at 700, I think, already. So uh, there's only about 300 more to go. And a nice little, uh, just helps boost our channel. We don't ask for much here. Incredible dash eight an aircraft. 
uh, potentially looking like the KLM. <coughs> well, right, Samantha Tobolis, how are you doing? Sorry, mate, if I seem a bit sort of. That's all right. And Nick's just saying he's off quick, Becky Davis, absolutely brilliant guys, do love the Lux here. Coming up to the, uh, the goldenish, or the purplish hour I should sort of say, beautiful KLM, first bit of variety in here and the A220 due in about 38 minutes. So clean the KLM aircraft. Papa Hotel, Echo, Zulu, is that Quebec or Oscar? I think it's O. Wow, the colours look so, so nice. Clive W saying the, uh, the dolphin has arrived. <laughs> So stand four, here we go, and just behind the, uh, the BA Embraer. Beautiful movements, and over 700 likes, incredible guys, thank you so much. Tina York, brilliant. 290 to go. <laughs> Why not? Samantha. Hopefully I'll get that just about sort of turning around. No, I'll tell you what. I'm going to follow the next Embraer in. Benny, Jeanette. Uh, George, Matthias saying hello Chris, how you doing? Hope you're doing very, very well. Welcome along everyone just joining us guys. Very nice uh, chilled out afternoon here at London City Airport. And we're starting just a little bit earlier guys because as you can see now, 25 past four. And uh, starting to get dark already. So, Alpha Golf. Stunning. Right, the floodlights have now all just been illuminated here at, uh, at LCY. Gary Glasgow after uh, Amsterdam is one of my favourite liveries. I think a lot of people have sort of fallen in love with uh, the KLM livery. It is a nice livery though, gotta say that. Uh, nice and uh, pistol to stream earlier, great stream, enjoy the day off, lager token for your birthday, thank you, honestly mate. Nice, thanks so much for that. I see, I really, really appreciate that. Thank you. 
Uh, Richard Gelber, that's some fascinating stuff there. I really, really like that. Uh, Declan's, to be honest with you, no. Uh, when it comes to sort of like the bonfire night and things like that, I'm not really a big, uh, not really a big sort of, uh, sort of fan of it, you know? Like the fireworks and things like that. I don't know, I just, sometimes I feel that you could just, you know, he's literally just burning your money sort of thing, you know? I'll go to a, like a firework display. Yeah, take care, man. Enjoy. No worries. Thank you very much. Take care. I'll see you again soon, yeah? No worries. Enjoy. And there's exercise. <laughs> Jeanette, exactly. And Janie says she's still there. Brilliant. Right, so the British Airways. Taxiing in. Beautiful. Michael Pianka saying, uh, does LCY have night operations? Currently, no, at this uh, second. I believe the latest flight that heads out of here or arrives is around about the nine o'clock mark, I think, nine, nine thirty-ish. They might have changed though. Uh, little Emma saying, good afternoon, how are you doing? Oh one, yes, that's it, mate. I mean, there's a, there's a load of stuff that's sort of going on tomorrow. I think it's uh, South End, Billericay, lots and lots of things that are sort of uh, happening. Firework displays, this, that, and the other. You know, let someone else do it. But there's a rail strike on tomorrow, so it's going to be a nightmare trying to uh, once again get anywhere. No, not. Just oh really? Yeah. Oh god. So that's. So they've done the right thing then, in the end. Yeah, they've done the right yeah, thing in the end. Alan, not a problem. Thank you so much, mate. Honestly, appreciate it. Ah, oh, it's you, everyone can have a uh, a thing out. Is that the last? Or is that what we got? Bag drop open. Well, as long as the A220 turns up, it's going to be, do. yeah. We're supposed to be here within the next sort of 30 minutes, isn't it? So, I mean, you can see now it's starting to get sort of darker and darker yeah, and darker. And Fria said, no, it's all good. Alan just said, mate, so that happy days, strike suspended. Uh, little Emma, I hope you're doing uh, okay. Hope you're getting, uh, hope you're getting better. Really good stuff. Matt Cat saying uh, no firework display this year. Well, you are. Wonder why. Honestly, wonder why. And it's a sand approach scope clear for around the next 20 minutes or so. That's not a problem, guys. Because as I said, you can see it's starting to get uh, darker now. And we're going to wait for the uh, the A220. Uh, friends, no, it's uh, it's all off now, which is uh, a good thing. So anyone that is travelling in and around to London tomorrow, um, you can actually travel with uh, nothing to worry about. Put it that way. There'll be brilliant stuff. Penny uh, Peter Gibbs. So it was, yeah, Peter Gibbs. I thought it was. And obviously, if you are coming to sort of London City, there was a few people that asked this, guys. If you if you're coming to London City to spot um, on a Saturday. Do bear in mind that operations do close down at midday. So uh, if you are coming here, and it is a lot, lot quieter on a... Uh, uh, it is a lot quieter on a Saturday than, uh, say, a Friday. So bearing in mind, if you do come up here, uh, everything's off and uh, sort of finished by around the midday mark. Spoke, not a problem at all. Benny on the L. Um, can only cats have decided they can't, but fuss. Don't worry about the cats. <laughs> 
It's weird though, because normally they charge a, uh, a fee. I know that the guys, I'm sure it was like uh, Southend and Billericay, I know that they've charged a fee to actually go to the fireworks displays. Uh, Wayne, been invited to a display tomorrow, but the, uh, thing you like a swamp. Yeah, you're not going to Glastonbury, put it that way. Uh, Richard, uh, well, what does it mean? Uh, what does it mean about those of us who are happy to watch aircraft take off and land for hours on end? You're passionate. Put it that way. You're passionate. Steve. Uh, Steve just put up a nice little thing there guys so uh, if you are coming down tomorrow just bearing in mind you have got a, a shorter day worth of uh, worth of aviation <laughs> that's to keep it clean <laughs> right, so I'm going to keep my eyes on that for the second I'm so glad that that rail strikes off. I'm, so, I'm yeah. so glad that that rail strikes off. You see two drivers that's come out the station. Two train drivers that's come out the station there. Yeah. They were talking about it and they said it's been cancelled. I asked them, has it been cancelled? Is it yet? That's good. Because this is where we're wanting to uh, head up tomorrow. So it's like, it would have just been a nightmare trying to get all the way from Essex up here without. Yeah. Uh, it's a nightmare for me. I'm in North London. Mm. And but it takes, takes me an hour and a half to get here. Because the only way is through Stratford. Yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> Incons uh, inconsiderate sometimes. Uh, it's all good. Uh, Rob, no fire with the Spain Swansea and Morris serving uh, cancelled the year. More mild weather on the way. And Anna James, brilliant stuff, guys. And uh, Stephen, I was saying there's a big display at North World. All the tickets are currently sold out. Thing is, there's a, there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of it going on in and around the capital. Or in and around Essex, shall I say. Uh, Andy, well, I would, uh, I would hope that even if it is sort of late in the day that it's been done, they should put the, uh, the normal service on. That's what you're hoping, or that's what we've got to hope. So that KLM, look how quick they've got it offloaded. Jeanette, loving it every minute of this. You guys are the best. Love Friday, such a perfect start to the weekend. Thank you, Jeanette. Honestly, I really appreciate that. Thank you. Hope you're doing okay. A nice chill out. And I know that a lot of people have had uh, quite a tough week, shall we say, at, uh, at work. So I'm glad that it helps you uh, relax. Typical, eh? <laughs> right, so there is the bus. Remember what I was talking about with the bus, guys? If you are on the further remote stands, that bus normally sort of picks you up and takes you back through to the, uh, to the sort of terminal. Takes you up to uh, security and sort of baggage reclaim. Rodeo, if you sit and watch uh, planes fall down your PC, make sure you can be artists. <laughs> Toby Hancock saying, my dad works for Greater Anglia and says uh, strikes is cancelled, brilliant. So it's nice knowing that uh, everything, at least the capital can move around. In Essex, Jeanette, thanks for uh, support. Honestly, Steve, no, brilliant stuff. Andy, 100%. Yeah, Lemma saying I've been in. Uh, I've been in hospital for uh, for two weeks. Come out Monday afternoon. That was bad enough with COVID. Still struggling. I hope you're. Uh, hope you get it sorted. I hope everything uh, is okay in the end. And JJ saying top class as always, Chris. Love your stream. Thank you, JJ. Honestly, really appreciate it, mate. Nice little chill out, guys. And uh, you're welcome. Thank you, Jeanette. As I keep saying, it's you guys that make it uh, 
amazing. Without you lovely lot, this would be uh, nowhere. Put it that way. A few uh, turnarounds now. So looks like we've got, what is that? Stand nine, city flyer over there. James. <laughs> Richard Gale was saying um, I may just get another screen just for the planes. Do it, my friend. And as I keep saying, there is nothing wrong with spending hours on end watching aircraft, guys. So you lot can, you can sit at home, you can put the TV on, you can have your PC on, you can go and have a cup of tea. You get to just experience. I'm looking for a little tiny sort of viewfinder, shall we say. And I have to enjoy the uh, experience pretty much the next day on the big screen. But I, uh, I love every minute of it. Yeah, it's decent, wasn't it? Like, do you know what, I was so I was worried that it weren't going to turn up. I mean, Gatwick got rained. I, I couldn't have streamed from Gatwick in that weather in that field. I just, I just couldn't have done it. And it was like, there were so many things going on. Oh, this, it's going to come. It's going to be here at this time. And then when it hit past 12, I was like, no, oh, don't say that. And then the 747 got delayed. And when it turned up, I was like, yes, absolutely. Oh, it's brilliant. Absolutely great. Yeah, I was quite in awe about that yesterday, <laughs> to be honest. Like, I was quite in awe. the screenshot of it. Yeah, right. Yeah. Put it as the background of my filter. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. Absolutely great. Uh, MG John saying, is that the DLR? I can hear rattling away in the background. Last time I saw LCY was about 20 odd years ago from a driverless DLR. Yes, it is. The DLR is right behind me, and that will take you back into uh, into Stratford. And on the other side is uh, straight away from London City Airport. So it's absolutely brilliant. Who is that? Is, who asked that? Tony Giver. Ian Pump Free, Saturday afternoon, Chris. Hi, uh, and all. Hi from Lincoln. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. And yes, Lynn, the only uh, the reason why, don't worry, it's, uh, it's not just been sort of cancelled out of anything. Uh, as I said to everyone, my birthday's coming up on Thursday, so I'm going to take a well deserved Saturday off and I'm going to. Uh, enjoy it an early sort of birthday thing with uh, obviously my family and uh, just gonna go and enjoy and uh, and chill out and sort of celebrate shall we say it that way I don't take much time off so I thought uh, tomorrow might as well but don't don't be uh, disheartened there'll be plenty more streams next week I'm gonna fit in some more stuff <laughs> uh, Jeanette, yes, it's flats. That building right behind, right behind you there, that's flats. So people uh, over there have got an amazing view of obviously uh, all of these operations all day. <laughs> Love it. The towel light lit up. Beautiful. You know that. Exactly. Do you know what? Funny. I said that when we was like, when we was over there. I said to him like, "That's what you need." I was like, "I would have been enjoying every uh, every minute of that." I don't think I'd leave me house to be honest. Tower block over the distance over there would be a great shot. Yeah, that would. I think there can. I think that's a council building over there as well. Yeah. Might have to uh, move to Tower Amnitz, see if they can uh, <laughs> see if they can give me a flat. <laughs> uh, Samantha, thank you so much. Honestly, I will enjoy it. Thing is, guys, when I say I'm taking a day off, it's it, it's never really a day away from the channel. There's always something that I'll probably be uploading or something along them lines, you know. So I, I say. The stream might not happen, so you might not get three hours worth of uh, sort of aviation content, but it makes up for it in other ways. It, it never uh, it never stops, shall we say. <laughs> uh, Andrew Main, yes, everything's good. Hope you're doing well as well. As you can see, getting uh, 
darker here on the dock side. Thank you, Mark. Brilliant, and Carol. Absolutely brilliant. Messenger Mike, thank you so much, mate. Honestly, I appreciate that. Racing fan, how are you doing? It's been a very, very peaceful afternoon here, actually. The afternoon operation's just been so chilled out. Thank you, Steve. No, listen, uh, that's why I thought, you know what? I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to be that bit, uh, it's selfish, shall I say, and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to enjoy my day. Wow. Stephen Owens, they always are. E even when you're, uh, I say that Monday is my, my sort of day off. I'm still doing stuff with aviation. It just, it doesn't stop. Like, it really doesn't. But I love it. I wouldn't have it, potentially, I wouldn't have it any other way, you know? When you broadcast it, when you broadcast things like this, it's, it's amazing. It's just... Very lucky to be doing things like this. And honestly, thank you so much for that, mate. Wow. Richard, thanks. Uh, Steve McDay, yes. Now I am. Which is another sort of good thing. Uh, there's no more two or three jobs sort of trying to pop up, you know, or prop it up, shall we say. <laughs> Penny. Uh, Lynn saying, uh, don't blame you. As I said, guys, my apologies. I know a lot of you uh, sort of, you love the, uh, the Saturday morning stream at, at LHR. I think the, uh, the mods could do with not only a day off, I think it was a welcome thing for them. They don't have to set their uh, alarm at six o'clock in the morning to be, uh, to be there. But also it gives me a bit of time to chill out with my family, shall I say. So I'm gonna, in, uh, gonna enjoy it. Even the BA aircraft, it looks so clean in that, uh, against that sort of dark grey. London now starting to come uh, alive with the beautiful lights. Something so picturesque about, uh, about London, guys. And when you ask me what my favorite airport is, this is exactly why I say, uh, LCY fast becoming SEN as well as a as a second. I just love this. And the planes crossing. So one going right, and the other one going left. Now in the clouds, heading over to Heathrow. And there is another aircraft above us, but it's uh, somewhere in the clouds. A thin air above us. Yeah, it's in the, oh, yeah, you can just about, just about see it there, yeah. So you can obviously see just how uh, dark it's now getting, guys, and the reason why I've started to, uh, obviously stream just that couple of hours earlier. So we're on the countdown now for the Swiss, the KLM rebuilding. Uh, where are we? Jack Cannon, Kerry Smith. <laughs> Carol, happy 50th birthday, Chris, for uh, <laughs> Thursday. We've all been there, I have. <laughs> Thank you. Honestly, I appreciate it. 
No, Tasker. Do you know what? My luckily enough, my uh, my family they're, they're bearable, shall I say? They're probably watching this now, going, "I'm gonna." Yeah, I'll probably uh, get a slap when I see them tomorrow. <laughs> but they're uh, no, they're great. No, they really are. And Keith Craft is saying the stunking take off there. It looks gorgeous, guys, doesn't it? Benny saying you're like the best. Listen, it's the best way. Like, we have got such an amazing, amazing community of people here. And hopefully we're about 15, 20 minutes away from the Swiss as well. We're going to be turning up. And uh, CBL, yeah. Do you know what? We heard it. We heard it go over, but it was uh, in the clouds. And David Sandy A380 on the way overhead in five minutes. Only problem, I think, guys, I don't think with the, uh, or sorry, I think with the low cloud cover sort of down here, I don't think we're going to get, I don't know, there's a few aircraft that we can see, but I don't know about the A380. We'll keep an eye out. Uh, Keith Grafton, time to go now. Enjoy family day tomorrow. You deserve it. Thank you, Keith. Honestly, appreciate it very much. Have a brilliant weekend. Rodeo saying great community. Sure is. Samantha, it really is. We've uh, we've done well, guys. Obviously, uh, building a great bunch of people like you. Two seconds, guys. I'm just uh, plugging the charger in. <laughs> See if it wants to be plugged in. Yeah, Tony. <laughs> And we've worked hard building uh, building this. Uh, John JG, thank you so much for that. Honestly, absolutely appreciate it, guys. Thank you. And Clive W is saying uh, estimated. Right, well, that's not that's not too bad, guys. What we're going to do, as you can see, getting very dark now, we will wait for the Swiss. And then once the Swiss is in, uh, we'll start winding down the stream, I think. Uh, Sun Brackett saying the A380 company over Mount Nessin. Bill Willis saying thanks Chris, uh, got to go have a great birthday by all. Not a problem Bill, take care mate and we'll see you again on the next one. <laughs> Bit of the bowl, I guess we won't be seeing uh, an Anton off land here. You, <laughs> you won't mate, it'll probably uh, <laughs> yeah, it literally collapse the whole, uh, the whole dock that it's all sort of uh, built with. Gregory, how are you doing? Afternoon to you. Yeah. Nah, well. As I say, I don't think we're going to see sort of much here in general. Uh, that I mean, it's, yeah, you can see the 320s and stuff like that, but I don't know, it's getting, uh, it's getting dark. Elizabeth G, not a problem. Glad you enjoy. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, Tony Rivers, so. Very quiet along the dockside. Uh, Jay saying there's a Ryanair passing a window about two minutes. Uh, microwave soda, afternoon to you. How are you doing? Uh, Cosmos, brilliant stuff. So we're on the countdown now for the Swiss. And remember guys, if you are liking what you're uh, seeing, please do hit the like button. We're, we're trying to hit to a thousand likes today. I think we're at like seven or eight hundred. We're getting close. We've got 900 of you watching, so it's not much to ask. <laughs> Thank you, Samantha. Hope everyone over there on Facebook is doing well. Ah, next aircraft inbound. Finally see the uh, the landing lights. G 
just in the background. Gregory, brilliant stuff. Uh, Farid saying it uh, surely gets dark. Uh, it sure gets dark quickly now. Yeah, it does. I mean, obviously, our usual showtime up till sort of last week or up to this week was 5 p.m. You can see now the difference that obviously the clock's going back have made. Uh, Ian in Aberdeen saying, Chris, enjoy your uh, birthday celebration. It's got mine next week. Oh, Ian, what date? Mine's uh, mine's Thursday, so I'm on the 10th. Um, what date is yours? Or what day, sorry. And Peter Gibbs saying, a BA from Dublin, just over Canvey Island, Big Davis. Brilliant stuff. Lynn, it's not too bad, is it? It's, it's doing all right. Lexus, the BA City Fly from Barcelona on final, so that's probably the uh, the lights that I can see over there in the background. Uh, Gus W, uh, EMA2, ALC next week, uh, 737 800, brilliant, and Jeanette Sandy Kalem looks lovely, shiny. And wow, over 800 likes, amazing, guys. It's literally the likes are one to one now with the amount of people viewing and I can't thank you enough that it is just incredible absolutely incredible ah uh, Ian right okay so you're on the 12th brilliant I'll tell you what I'll uh, screenshot that I'll give you a, uh, a happy birthday next week a fellow Scorpio shall we say and Nixie Sam, Barcelona flight is number two for landing. Real sea fishing. Wow, someone just uh, lift that. Whoever you are, brilliant. Cassie, how are you doing? It's been one of these weeks, don't worry. Listen, everyone has these uh, these weeks. I wouldn't worry about it at all. It's from Dublin. Yeah, from Dublin, brilliant stuff. Happy days. I just hope we don't hope we can catch that uh, Swiss before it gets. Well, the guys are saying that. Be too far off. No, they're saying it's back all the pass, so I'm guessing uh, somewhere coming over the channel, maybe. Actually, it should be his. Uh, Kessie King said Benji's uh, birthday's on the 17th of November. He will be four. Absolutely brilliant. Well, a uh, massive. Uh, an early happy birthday. Lots and lots of people born in November, guys. Ian, not a problem. Michael Painter is costing you a lot more in, in beer. My apologies. <laughs> and David Shepard saying I'm on the 13th. God, loads it. That's about five or six of you now, guys, that... Uh, there's people that have got their birthday in November. Brilliant. Well, welcome to the November club. The best month. And Lena saying my mum's the 15th. Brilliant. And Nick is, uh, Swiss is just coming over the channel now. Uh, CBL, unfortunately, mate, the cloud base is uh, a lot lower than 6,300 feet. So we're not going to be, uh, unfortunately, seeing that over the top of us. Me and Alan have had some... Uh, 320s fly over the top but uh, nothing really uh, nothing really sort of major we can see he's at 5,000 feet though I still don't think we're going to well I don't know it's no end yeah it's going back round now so. Michael Payne I don't apologise I'm loving it my partner is uh, it's kind of deadly <laughs> Uh, Benny, yes, mate, you're uh, you're well too early. <laughs> Come back in March. <laughs> yeah, Ian and Aberdeen, good Scorpios. Samantha, happy birthday to everyone with their uh, birthday in November. Great month. So you see now, two aircraft come in uh, inbound. I don't know whether you can uh, sort of pick that up. On there, and then we're just counting down for the Swiss. Let's do it. 380 up there. Where is it up? Oh, actually, we might. Oh, hang on, guys. Might just. Yes. So, we did get it.
<laughs> You're right, mate. It's all good. We're. Uh... <laughs> wow, she looks stunning in that. Uh, all lit up like that. Got a feeling we're probably going to lose her in some of the cloud, though. Can I... And we're going to lose it through the clouds. Yeah, it's losing the focus on that, but there you go, guys. 380 at least. Happy days. And beautiful Sam Wilson. My dad's on the 21st and my cousin's on the 22nd. Ah, oh, November, what a great month. Only thing is, it's so close to Christmas. <laughs> Rodeo saying an uh, amazing shot of the king. Absolutely beautiful. Definitely. Uh... So inbound, we've got two Embraers and then we're on the countdown now, guys, for the Swiss A220, which is... Uh, Going to conclude the Friday, as you can see, a uh, stark contrast now in regards to uh, how dark it is at five o'clock in the evening here in uh, London. Aircraft looking beautiful, all lit up like that. Let me show you what a difference it all makes. Uh, David said, thanks, great show. Not a problem at all. Glad you've enjoyed it. Uh, Stephen, I said my wife's birthday was on the 30th of October. Oh, happy belated birthday there. Uh, Lucy, it will probably be too dark by the time uh, some of the shortbreads turn up. Bearing in mind, uh, clocks have gone back and it is now dark. at currently uh, bang on 1,700 hours here in the UK. And by the time I believe that the Swiss A220 makes her mark in here, it's going to be pretty much uh, beyond pitch black. Alan James, brilliant stuff, mate. Hope you've had a good one. Uh, Real Sea Fishing. Uh, Keith was actually here standing next to us for about an hour and a half, actually, today. I was wondering where Samil had gone. Has anyone seen Samil, guys? He said he had... Uh... He had a few problems. But I uh, don't know what was going on. Up through Folkestone, brilliant. Right, so guys, the uh, the Swiss is nearly with us. Coming up uh, through Folkestone, real sea fishing, not a problem at all. Uh, Jane is saying she's watched live stream, <laughs> live streaming all day. Listen, enjoy it. Uh, 
And I'm removing the stairs now away from the KLM. Currently got a, another British Airways Embraer just heading out, but we've got to wait for the Swiss guys before we, uh, we cut the stream. And Jeanette's saying nearly the Wookiee time. Tony Rivers. Yeah, potentially. I think we all just look out for one each, one, uh, one another tone, don't we? You know. Beautiful. Right, potentially yeah, this. This now might be. I'm guessing that's probably the Swiss. It's out the back there with the landing light. Oh, is it over Russia? Miles away. <laughs> right, take care, Messenger Mike. Not a problem at all. Enjoy, my friend. And. Take care. Yeah, Tony, do you know what? It's. Uh, I think that's a nice thing that we've uh, that we've got. Beautiful shot of uh, the airport looking beautiful at night. Uh, the KLM. I'll keep my eyes on the uh, on the KLM for a second. Hello, Jay. Say an excellent show, Chris. Uh, all chats from uh, Epping in Essex. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, Jeanette. No, it was a new one for me as well, Denise. Ah, oh, Mark, 100%. Yeah, I didn't know he was only 4 hours. I thought he was like 30 off. <laughs> oh, God. Peter Gibbs, thank you very much. Uh, Nick Tiss. Right, so. Counting down for the Swiss. Claire and Wayne, welcome to my first comment. Nah, it's brilliant. Wayne, as I said, it's it's you lovely lot in the uh, in the mods and in the comments that keep all this alive, guys. You know, I'm just a bloke behind a camera. The whole real thing is what goes on in uh, in obviously the chat. And uh, little Emma saying I'm at the big 40 next year. Uh, CBL the next uh, in is the BA from Edinburgh, and then hopefully after that. The Swiss guy, it's getting really, really dark now. Ah, uh, Jim. Uh, Jenny, hi everyone, not been uh, live for a few days, feeling a bit low, not wanting to talk. If, uh, the streams they love the streams yesterday and Wednesday evening uh miss you Chris well Julie we missed you as well listen don't ever feel uh, like you need to sort of cower away or hide away or anything like that there's plenty of people always in the chat if you're feeling a bit low and if you're feeling a bit down there's plenty of people that will always uh, help you out you can probably see just over the back there as well the engine blast if you can just see the uh, the engine blast blowing away uh, <laughs> some of the things at the back of the aircraft Webo, how are you doing? And Nick Tiss, that's what we're waiting for. Uh, 
VIP gives Swift's just passed him Maidstone. Stuart Eves, evening Chris, hope you are well. Stuart, we are mate, hope you are as well. Currently now just waiting for the uh, the Swiss A220. And the evening everyone and happy Friday. How are you doing mate? Hope you're doing well. Uh, Straight easy evening Chris. Very stark contrast from uh, from last week, guys. How dark it already is, and it's uh, 17:08 here. Time check. Wow! Look how bright they are. Yeah, I had to, uh, we've got to roll in with the Swiss guys, we can't not uh, have the Swiss and it's standardly the day when uh, you're just about to finish up that it turns up late, it's normally always here early, well, it's normally our first uh, arrival. Happy days. Right, so we can. I think we can finally see the uh, the Swiss over the back, guys, and then that will be the last one from us. Brilliant, guys. Yeah, Tony, no worries, mate. As I said, it's it's always nice to uh, to sort of to keep a lookout for everyone. Just uh, try and keep an eye on people, guys. You know, that's the uh, that's the only thing we can do. Yeah, Denise, crazy. Matt Carter, thanks, Chris. Another great show. Uh, Safe journey home, evening to all. Not a problem, Matt, at all. Uh, RJ Hanser, no. Tomorrow, I am taking tomorrow off. Um, but I am going to be back probably Monday or Tuesday. I'm going to fit in some extra streams. And uh, as I said, the only reason I'm taking tomorrow off, I want to spend some time with my family. Um, uh, it is my birthday next week, so I'm going to... Just go and enjoy. Go and enjoy the day, shall I say? Andy Frearson, love London City. They all, uh, they love you too, guys. Happy days, right? So, Swiss is currently number one.
holding down for the Swiss. Karen Mace, not a problem. And Nick Tisso, the final one coming from us, guys, which will be the Swiss A220. Uh, you can probably see the landing lights over there in the back. Uh, Lucy, another fab uh, week streams SCTV. Thank you for the mods, lovely people here in the chat. Not a problem, Lucy. Glad you uh, enjoyed it. Uh, I know. Don't worry, guys. Though there's there's many more, many more Saturday streams. Do not worry, guys. Uh, Clive W, thanks for another brilliant show, Chris, and good evening to uh, SDTV family. Really enjoy, uh, will enjoy, will enjoy celebration with your family. I will do, my friend. And I hope uh, all you lovely lot that are normally up at the crack of dawn, especially here in the UK, uh, actually enjoy your rest. And I hope the mods enjoy their rest uh, tomorrow as well. Absolutely brilliant. Peter Gibbs, thank you so much, mate. Honestly, I really appreciate that. So we're just waiting now. Swish, you can see the uh, the landing lights in the back. You can just see how dark it is now, guys. Quarter past, not even quarter past five, so uh, 17 13 here in the UK and the KLM. Waiting for the Swiss, and that is what we'll get. Uh, Danny Watkins, not a problem. Gary Glasgow, absolutely brilliant. CBL in class, uh, in Cluxton. Terrific again, Chris. Glad you've enjoyed, guys. And as I said, for the next sort of four months, this is probably going to be our uh, new start times, guys. Uh, absolutely pointless, sort of going out doing a uh, a show at the same time as what we usually did. Uh, during the summer months. Jeanette Stewart East. Thank you, Stuart. So, the Swiss, the final one from us coming in now. Uh, Lucy Sandoff goes the Dolphin. Copy Joe, Chris. Uh, that's playing with other spot Billy Joel, the other man in the crowd. Forget about life for a while. Do you know what? I agree with that. You just switch off when you're watching the aircraft. You just switch off, and it's uh, it's amazing. Very bright light. So the final one from us. Literally a shining star on it. It really is. You can see the fireworks over there in the background as well. People are already starting early. Stunning at night. So, there you have it. Uh, Edward James, not a problem at all. Glad you uh, all enjoyed. Jeanette, I hope you're doing good. <coughs> so, might as well get that parking up. Why not, eh? Diane, yes, pretty uh, snug in the thermals. Hope you're doing well, Diane. Absolutely brilliant, guys. So, we're going to watch the... Uh, the Swiss pull onto its remote stand. I think that's Bravo Hotel. Hotel, uh, 
HB JBH. Pretty much a, a regular visitor here. Right then. Yeah, happy days. Steve Ario, not a problem, mate. We'll see you again next week. And obviously what we're uh, losing tomorrow, guys, I will make it up. You know me, I always put extra stuff on when we, uh, when we miss something. So uh, do not be worried or do not be flustered. Uh, Fred for now is absolutely brilliant. So the Swiss finally arriving in here. And stop. Beautiful. Right then, guys. So that is that. So, mate, I'm just going to uh, focus on the. So, once again, guys, another uh, amazing week. It's already four streams that we've done this week. It's been uh, incredible. Once again, obviously, uh, I'm off tomorrow, uh, but we'll be back again uh, next week, which is all good. Right, Forever Now's Mike Painter mods. Absolutely brilliant. Can't thank you enough. Absolutely smashed it. Like. Uh, like normal it's been an absolute pleasure once again this week guys like so uh, absolutely amazing um hope you've enjoyed obviously london city again on a friday uh, we started earlier just because as you can see very very dark now um but no listen can't thank you all enough guys thank you so much for uh, for tuning in all the support it's been brilliant thank you alan for uh, tuning in mate and coming down mate and just having a, a good thing there but um no, guys, I will be back, obviously, next week. Uh, quite a special week, so uh, we're going to enjoy it. Other than that, I'm going to wish you all the best. Uh, all the best. Hope you have a fantastic, fantastic weekend, whatever you're doing, and I hope you uh, all keep safe. Absolutely brilliant, guys. Right, so until next week, have a brilliant Friday. Be safe, and I'll see you all again very, very soon. Take care, guys. See you later.